my fucking hair is caught on my goddamn headphones. That's great. It's amazing. That's why I always wear, like, a do-rag or something. Keep that shit locked up. There's too much. Too much hair. Can't have it go all willy-nilly. All right. We're live. Hopefully. Maybe. Mostly. We're live. And I feel dead inside. So. More Phoenix Wright. I am well-rested. I do not feel... I do not feel normal. I'm wearing a different set of headphones today. And it doesn't feel right. It feels like something's missing. It's not as heavy as the last ones that I wore. And I think my USB port is like fucking up. Because for some reason it's like cutting in and out sometimes. I don't know why it does that. I'm going to have to tinker with some shit. But we're back with more Phoenix Wright. And before we get started. First of all. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Everything in between. Or excluded from I guess. I don't know. How does that go? But we're back with more Phoenix Wright. And before we get started, just want to say, maybe some times where I may have to walk away from the microphone because I live with a bunch of idiots who thought it would be a wonderful idea. Just fucking the smartest people in the world, I swear. They thought it would be a wonderful idea to have like a four-year-old awake at two o'clock in the morning and also to just get up and just take their car and leave and go somewhere while the four-year-old is like outside because I walked out my room and I said why is the front door open and then I looked out the front door saw no parents saw the car was gone and it's just a four-year-old kid outside in the dead of night in the front yard playing by himself and I'm like this is the shit I deal with every day so I may have to step away from the mic occasionally here and there because someone has to be the adult around here. But hopefully I don't have to do that too much. Now, let us continue with more Phoenix Wright. Where we last left off, I was dozing off in the middle of talking the gumshoe. I was very tired. <laughs> Caused me to stumble on my words more than I usually do. And it was very very disheartening for me <laughs> but <coughs> but tonight hopefully we'll get further along with the investigation we learned that uh, well first we found Pearl that's cool she's alive but Maya's missing maybe she's trapped in the cave maybe she's not maybe she's just up and left and went somewhere who knows I don't know we teamed up with Bon Karma she's now our buddy cop Hey Breezy, how's it going? Hope everything's wonderful. Or at least doable, I guess. That's the best we can hope for. As humanity comes crumbling down. But yeah, we teamed up. We're now buddy cops. Well, we're not even cops, but we're buddy cop with uh, Von Karma. Gadot showed up. He gave me his two sits. Two sits? Two cents. <laughs> hey Shark, nice to see you. It's been a while. It's been a while, mainly on my part, though. But he gave us his two cents, and he was very cryptic about it, too. And then Edgeworth was just like, man, that Iris, she's not looking right. She's kind of moving sideways. She's moving different. I got to go check some, I got to go check some stuff about her. Look her up. But hopefully, tonight all that will come to an end, maybe. Come to a conclusion. Con conclu conclusion? Conclusion? I don't feel like I'm saying that word right for some reason. But hopefully it'll all, you know, come together in a nice, homogenous stew. Hearty, healthy, nice and warming and love and tender. <laughs> happy it will stop in for it. Thanks. I'm happy you're here. Especially since, especially since I have to work my fucking, my confidence up again since I haven't been doing this regularly. But let us continue on with more Phoenix, right? And apparently, here's a big, before we get started, one more thing I got to say. Here's a big old fuck you to Twitch because for some reason, 
they were like, eh, while you were gone for a while, we said, fuck it, we're just gonna have animated emotes. So basically, they just made BTTV pretty much not useless because you don't have to be subbed to use it, which, I mean, that's a plus side, right? But it's like, wow, guys, how many years have we been doing this shit? And just now you're like, eh. And then make the emotes, why not? Hey, fuck it, man. Just, you can just have, I guess, whatever. Someone has to show some animation while they're while they're staring at their hot tubs, I guess. I don't know. Fuck, something. <laughs> Alright. Where is my goddamn save file? I don't even remember what the last one was that I did. I think it was number four. It was number four. All right, cool. So, we talked to Gumshoe. Last time I fucked up because I was half asleep. <laughs> and we found out that here is where the murder happened. It happened in the garden, not the guardian. It happened in the garden. Let's remember that. Probably did some sacrilegious shit, you know? Fucking set the, set the torches up. Fucking hold the broom in the air, started chanting. Like a crazy person? <laughs> Gotta get money to sub soon. Oh, I don't worry about it. I'm not. Trust me. I haven't been streaming as much. I feel bad as it is for the people who do sub. Right? So, you know, just... I'm not gonna go crazy on you about it. I'm not gonna even worry about it. Right? I'm in no position to really, like, handle that right now. You know? And also, I just don't want to be that one girl who I don't remember what the fuck her name was. But we all know the Twitch clip of the girl who's like, what, guys? Come on. It's five dollars. And it's like, wow. Ooh. <laughs> what day is this? this? Uh, I can't speak. What day is the investigation on? It is. I think I'm too close to my mic. Hold up. <laughs> Let me push that away. I think we are on. Well, I mean, it would say it on the on the load data. Wouldn't it? Part three. Part three. Dash one. Investigation. I mean, it's still on the same day, right? It's on the same day as Edgeworth, which is weird because the trial just happened. And then Edgeworth is like, I'm done. And then I guess within like two hours, Phoenix was like, I'm healed. Time to go walk around in the snow. But let's continue so this was what was that actually we have a talent we have a fucking talisman and then we saw this is maya well von karma said this is maya written also phoenix became a man yesterday because he called von karma cute in his mind though he didn't say it out loud thus he would be attacked by the wit all right let's see there's a couple of torches here I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. It looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Oh my god, I called it. Somebody was having a seance. Recently? How recent we talking? As recent as the night of the murder. Maya was training here on the night of the murder. It's not, it's not unreasonable to think these things were lit up at the time, I guess. I am so not used to wearing these headphones because my voice sounds different to me now when I speak I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it oh I don't like it I'm gonna have to buy like another pair of headphones that are kind of like my other ones because you know it gave me a lot of space a lot of a lot of nice stuff <laughs> he embraced it <laughs> it's all we can ask for listen everyone needs to embrace Von Karma and her fucking just her magnificence. A little lantern, a little statue. It's certainly, qu it's certainly a quaint little garden. What's this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's a, uh, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything, everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if it has any impact on the case. Hmm. Well, I uh. I doused my face earlier with the water. <laughs> I was kind of getting sleepy. So you took ice cold water and just... No hesitation. 
come on, even I hesitate when I, like, run a washcloth under cold water. I'm like, I gotta wash my face with this. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> he said, fuck it, just did it fucking... Who? Which celebrity is the person who just, like, slaps their face on a fucking plate? Is that Kim Kardashian? <laughs> I'm not into the world of celebs. But someone just goes like, here's how I put my makeup on. Just slap their face onto a plate. Next time you're sleepy, you need to only come to me. Got it? Wait, what? She said, I'll take you to bed. Real quick. Alright, I gotta... I gotta put one of my fucking little earmuffs open because I do not like the way my voice sounds in general, but also with these earphones, earphones, headphones on. Just make me feel, make me feel not good. All right, Gumshoe, what can I show you, man? Hmm. Know anything about the Crystal Spear? This was found close to Dusky Bridge, wasn't it? That's what the artist guy says, yeah? Right after the defendant flew over the burning bridge. According to his testimony, she dropped it when she landed on the other side. But this crystal didn't belong to Iris. The crystal had dropped out of Miss Elise's staff. And there are traces of blood on it, too. The real question is, what was, what was it doing near the foot of Dusky Bridge? Asking all the best questions. She's talking directly to you. <laughs> directly to me? I'm like a anime high school student. A fucking girl can just walk up to me and be like, I want to have sex. And then I'll be like, what? Me? She's not talking to me. Just completely oblivious. Also, I remember last time when we looked at this picture, I said it made me feel uneasy looking at this. I mean, it's a great picture. Good job, Larry. You can actually draw. Congrats. Well, draw a paint. You can actually paint. Congrats. But this makes me very uneasy. And the reason I said that before, it's gonna get gonna get a little dark here, but I feel like I need to explain myself. Because if I don't, for some reason, I, I just feel like it's not okay if I don't, for some reason. But I'm gonna explain myself. So, I said it multiple times in like other streams here and there. I do some uh, security work here and there. Make some money, do some night shifts. As part of getting your uh, security license in the States, you have to go and do some classes, you know, nothing too crazy, right? Classes aren't hard to do or whatever, you just get your license, do it, you know, two times every two years, it's fine. And part of that class is you need to go over all the safety hazards and stuff like that and whatever, and we get really into fire hazards. So, and my instructor that, uh, that I have, that I always go to because I like the guy, he's cool, fucking... When he does the class, he goes, okay, in a town near me, there was a fire that broke out, and it was, like, really bad. There's actual footage of it, and it was during a, uh, a, a comeback concert from some band that I just don't, I don't know what it is, and the fire broke out because their pyrotechnics just lit up the whole entire place, and they had, like, no fire safety whatsoever. And so many people died or whatever. And there is live footage of it. Of like, um, the reason there's live footage of it is because the, um, the news channel was supposed to come and, you know, film the, film the, uh, concert that was going on for like a spot on the TV or whatever. And then within like, after the pyrotechnics startup, within like less than a minute, the whole building is ablaze. And... The, and you can just see, not only that, but like certain exits were blocked or whatever, so everyone was like funneling to like just like one area. And basically, within less than a minute, the whole building goes up in flames. A lot of people are still in the building. Uh, there's people coming out. You can see people screaming and yelling and all that stuff um, being burned alive, and it's very unsettling. There's a moment in the video where you can't see it too well, but some you can still see it. Someone, still alive, still on fire, runs out of the building. And it's very unsettling, and it goes on for like minutes on end. 
and it only took the fire like less than a minute to spread that fast. And whenever I see that, well, whenever I think of any fire safety or anything, I just think of that and it's just horrifying to watch. It's so bad. So this makes me very uneasy looking at this. It's fucking terrifying. And you can, you can look up the, the video or whatever. It's still online or whatever, right? But that just makes me unsettled just seeing that. Cause I'm like, yep, I know what it, I know what it looks like. <laughs> I have now seen a visual account on my end, and it is not good. It is very bad. And there's other stuff that we see here and there, right? So whenever a fire alarm goes off in my areas and stuff like that, I'm just like, oop, gotta, gotta get control of that real quick. Luckily, I wouldn't. Luckily, the most I ever had to do with fire is just, like, talk to the fire marshal and stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, fucking, uh, fire alarm's acting stupid. But that is just... I felt like I needed to share that. Because this makes me really, like, just flashbacks, like Vietnam. Hopefully I don't have to deal with any of that firsthand. I think the worst that I ever had to deal with was, like... You know, just doing some security stuff, and someone's like, oh, I can't go through the metal detector. And I was like, why? They're like, oh, because I got a gun on me, because I'm a veteran. And I was like, oh, okay, well, then this way, sir, I'll give you the VIP access. I trust you. Probably, you know. I trust you. Went through all the special security places or whatever. They checked him out. You know, everything. Make sure it was okay. All right. So, sorry to make it a little dark there. But, you know, sometimes I just got to share things. Um. All right, Gumshoe, what the hell are we doing? You know anything about this talisman? The thing must have been worn by the victim. There's no other way of looking at it. You mean because of the, because of the matching leather cord found around the victim's neck? Yeah. I bet it was one of those things she always wore. I've got these safety driving charms I've been wearing for over a year now. Is that because you got into the car accident? <laughs> if I ever get into an accident, it's guaranteed it'll be the other guy's fault. Is it supposed to stop you from having an accident in the first place? Okay, Gumshoe. Well, I don't think we'll get much out of you. We just came here to pick up some, some details, I guess. So, let's move over to the training hall. I examined both these, right? I didn't examine this. Why didn't I examine this? The scroll shows a picture of Misty Fay, master of the curing channeling technique. But well, why would anyone cover it in gravy? I can't make out what, what's drawn on the scroll at all. I'll never understand you Americans and your so-called artist. Artist? Yeah. Hmm. It's an antique dresser. Don't you dare open it, Phoenix Wright. Why not? Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her not to touch things. What a pity. It's full of nothing but old clothes for the Acolytes. I thought we weren't opening it. I'm from the prosecutioner's office. I can do anything. Yeah, you can do anything. I said stand up to a nine-year-old. <laughs> he said, damn, she was ripping you apart. I was sitting there, I was like, you gonna let her talk to you like that, bro? <laughs> Fucking, I swear Pearl is just... she's secretly evil. No one will understand. Her true powers. Alright. Larry's still not here. Um, the main gate. Oh, what the hell is going on over here? It seems you have a visitor. I have a visitor? What the fuck? Why are you... Oh. <laughs> totally forgot. My bad. I'm like, why is she out of detention already? Because they gotta bring her here to unlock the... Unlock the stuff. Yeah, I forgot. Mr. Wright? Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Gadot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We gotta hurt... Damn! The whole group is here. The fucking Scooby-Doo squad. <laughs> We just, we're just missing our mascot. Where's Pearl when we need her? Never mind him. We gotta hurry and unlock the sacred ca cavern. Cavern? Cavern. 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 I feel like I was gonna say cavern for some reason. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. 
It's my fault someone is important to you. Someone that's so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? All right. Let's hurry to the Inner Temple, then. I'll see you later, right? Wait, Edgeworth! I'm coming with you guys. What's that look for? You telling me I can't go? Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. Is it prosecutioner type shit? Like, I can't interfere because I'm a defense attorney? What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... My F.A. is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But Maya, Mr. Wright, all that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? Mm, you're right about that. You're not wrong. <laughs> Listen to the voice of reason for a change. You're one to talk. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. What the fuck? What was that for? This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. I thought she would leave with them. <laughs> I thought she was leaving with them. Is she still with me? We really are buddy-buddy cops. Sister Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my. Hello, you two. How you doing? the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by the handsome, crimson-clad prince. If she's talking about Edgeworth. <laughs> so is she talking about Edgeworth? He is pretty handsome. It was, just a it was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear, it's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about me. I just stumbled over my words. She's worried about my back. Would you believe? What have I done to her? Oh, only what you had to... Wait, what? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see it... We'll see it to that. Your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that. I'm her defense attorney. I can't f what? Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. I can't. And also, quite frankly, I don't think she's I don't think she did it. Huh, me? What? The fuck you glaring at me for? What I do? Oh yeah, you did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. You two are the only ones who said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? No, ma'am. Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break those psychic locks of hers. I guess it is. Let me see. All right. Tell me what you know. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She was... Mystic Elise was an, was an author, just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. S suspicions? Yeah, that's right. She walked in, I was like, mm, man, 
That's hella sus. Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Elise's true identity. Uh... Is it the crystal? <laughs> Or is it this? It's probably this. Miss Elise had this charm with her at all times. Where'd you... This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. Then... What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about who Elise really was. This talisman is none other. This talisman is another. Uh, 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 this talisman and one other item, unequivocally, uh, unequivocally can't say that word. My my voice won't do it. My mouth, my tongue, my movements. It proves her true identity. That and probably the spear, right? Oh come on! It can't be the spear. Come on! Everybody has the fucking spear. All right. Damn it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it more, okay? Jesus. Talisman and what? Her cane? That's the only other fucking item she had on her. Hmm. Okay. One other item. What the hell are you talking about, Phoenix? That's her dead body. It's a snowmobile. Testimony. Autopsy. This one belongs to Iris. Is it the hanging scroll? Probably the hanging scroll. It is a picture of her after all, right? The only other thing I got. See, I didn't think that would I didn't think that would take it because, you know, I would assume that picture is of her when she was younger. Like what? She's been missing for five years now? The painting is obscured by the gravy stain at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the curing channeling technique. The crest at the top of it. Oh the crest. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. Crest at the top of top of it is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adores the talisman that the victim carried with her. This crest is reserved for the master of the curing. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fey, told me. Come on. Come on, Bikini. I walked up with two of them. Hey man, don't don't you the scroll me? In my mind, I'm like, I didn't, I forgot it had the crest on it. Okay, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, but there's a picture of her from five years ago. Even Maya didn't know who she was at first glance. I called it though. What? You mean that acolyte is Misty Face's daughter? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Face's sole successor. Oh wow, they all just shattered. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <clears throat> if only I can recover health in the middle of a trial, that would be awesome, but I can apparently, because fucking this game's bullshit. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. About a week ago! When she showed me the talisman with the mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one has seen her since she disappeared 17, 17 years ago! Even more! Don't you fuck. Don't you goddamn the scroll me. <laughs> I just forgot that the crest was on it, okay? No one has seen her since 17 years! What is the significance of the talisman, sister? 
The carrying talisman is the symbol of the master of the Kyrian. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death. Well, that's... Damn. Fate has a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> so Elise was really Maya's mother. She was Misty Fay, the master of the Kyrian channeling technique. How come the moment we meet the mom, she's just gone like that? <laughs> the truth comes out at last. Looks like we're making some... Damn, Maya! Your life is sad! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with everybody in your family? Either they're dying or they're doing crimes. We're getting locked up. When's Pearl gonna get locked up? <laughs> Time check 39 days before. For TGAAC releases. All right, give me a moment. I can I can figure out what that is. Give me a moment. The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Got it. Bam. <laughs> Just fucking mind blown. By the way, welcome back, Serena. It's been a while. 39 days. That's how much time I have? Fuck! Maybe I can squeeze out maybe one or two playthroughs in, that, in the meantime. But anyways, <clears throat> truth comes out at last. It looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now, and why here of all places? Because something's happened that called her from hiding. What happened? Well, let me guess. She said, let me guess. We did a seance, and she said, I sense, like the moment they did the seance, way back when, Misty Fay on the other side of the planet, she's like, I sense a great disturbance. A demon has been released. She came to purify Iris. <laughs> I wonder if there was a wonder if there's a wall decoration that looks like the scroll online. Probably. Most likely. I mean, if you can't find it on like any official stores, you can try and Etsy it. There's a lot of people on Etsy doing some crazy shit. Don't know if I already know, but bikini is he's <laughs> a midget because they needed to they need to save on the Game Boy con cartridge. Oh my God, really? Really? Wow. Guess they didn't have. Guess they didn't have Awada's fucking. Can we even say the word midget anymore? I don't think we can. I will refrain from saying that again. Little person. I feel like little person is worse. That's like me walking up to someone and seeing how's like, how's it going there, little guy. I don't like that. I don't like little person. It's got to be something else. <laughs> you know. And then there's the word that uh, Borderlands 3 uses, which I think is even worse than both those two. What is it, tyke or some shit? Small person? Even That's even more bad. <laughs> Small sounds worse. <laughs> Fucking, what am I, the Hulk? Walking up to people? Hulk, no, like puny banner. <laughs> like, it makes me feel bad every time. There, There's no nice way to say it. And I, I'm not going to call him a fucking dwarf either, because that's just like, what the fuck are you, Gimli? It's just, you know, just people. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta be PC with everything you do. Especially, oh man. Alright, while we're talking, alright, usually I try not to get political or anything like that, and I try to stay away from that. But while we're talking about this, don't want to start anything. Just going to say it, just going to say it, because... I do feel genuinely bad because cancel culture is kind of a bitch. Um, for Halloween, I wanted to play Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, but now I just don't think that's a safe option to do at all anymore <laughs> because apparently Scott Kaufman like donated to what McConnell and Trump and people just attacked him and sent him death threats and stuff. So I guess that's just off the off the list now sadly because i really wanted to play that but it's like he didn't have to he didn't have to go after the guy like that yeah it's like like now me personally i'm still me i didn't even fucking know until today like i went to twitter and it's like scott kaufman retires from five five nights at freddy's i'm like what the fuck are they talking about and then i just read this article and shit and i'm like really why are people so mean for no reason. It's like... 
I don't know. Fucking, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because people, people will equate, people will equate donating money to fucking supporting war crimes or something. So whatever, right? I'm just gonna leave that topic as is. But I'm really sad about it because I wanted to stream the game, like for Halloween, and I fucking can't no more. Um, I'm still gonna play the game on my own though. Game's gonna sell regardless. Doesn't matter where the money's going. Fucking at this point, guy's already rich as hell, making money off of royalties. So, I'm still gonna buy the game and play it myself. But that's just really sad that I'm not able to do that no more. What's happening? It's an earthquake. Oh man, it's an er oh god no Edgeworth. <laughs> I hope they don't get, like, caved in. Oh my goodness, the inner temple. This kind of tremor might... The inner temple. The sacred cave... I feel like I'm gonna say cavern. Secret cavern in the in the training hall. It, it might... It might well... Uh, it might very well cave in. What? Maya! I know Edgeworth is not having a nice time right now. That's for damn sure. It seems to have passed. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. What else? Don't you dare don't you dare raise that whip at me. Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get I must get some first aid kits. Or a knife to stab us all with. She's probably the killer. She probably did it. Come on then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Hey, watch out, guys. We're with we're with VIP right here. I'm her fucking plus one. <laughs> Do I use Celsius or Fahrenheit? I'm in America, so we're fucky and we use Fahrenheit. <laughs> to the point where to the point where I can't really tell you any measurements in Celsius, to be honest. Right? Which really sucks, because it's a way better metric system. I can just be like, oh, boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, freezing point zero, whatever, and that's it. That's all I know. It's 93 Fahrenheit outside. Fucking for real, man? Oh, no. Dude, fucking, I went to work the other day, and fucking, I went... I went to the area that I go to like sign in and shit or whatever and that's where uh, all the security guards go or whatever at the beginning of the shift, right? I went in there and it was already like 78 f degrees outside Fahrenheit and then I walked in there I said why the fuck is it an oven in here and there was like one dude in there and he's like man I'm so cold and I'm like how are you cold and why is it up to fucking eight fucking 90 degrees Fahrenheit in this goddamn room that's the size of a fucking Strodin of Strodinger's fucking cat box. Like, it's so fucking hot. What the hell are you doing? He's like, I'm so cold. I got the COVID shot. I'm like, I'm like, listen, if you're cold, you have a whole ass jacket. Put that on, man. People got to be here tonight. The hell are you doing? Or if you felt bad, just call out. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. He's thinking about him too! I'm like, damn. My man has a phobia. Understandable. Earthquakes did did kill his father. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Yes. Come on, let's go. She she seemed a little jealous there. She's like, you thinking about someone else other than me? We gotta hurry to the inner temple land. Right. Oh, what are you doing here? How could I have... How could you what? How dare you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Ow! Hey, why am I getting the one getting whipped? She's like, I can't touch him, he's too handsome. <laughs> She's gone. What the hell are you talking about? You talking about Iris? No. The defendant, Iris. She's gone. She's in the cave. She's in the fucking cave, isn't she? Gone where? She fled. She escaped. 
What? So, it was just now, during the... Easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness is fear of earthquakes. Where the fuck was Gadot? <laughs> Being oxygen deprived doesn't kill you. <laughs> what? What the fuck just happened? What? Oh, <laughs> Manfred killed him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he did kill him, right? But still, the earthquake was the perfect was the perfect coincidence, right? I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? Well, yeah, my dad was shot and killed, jackass. <laughs> it's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is, is a dead end. So she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Do we need to get a manhunt under? Do we need to get a manhunt underway now and search, search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom? Maybe she took a swan dive in the river. <laughs> Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? Edgeworth, I appreciate you. Should I slap you now or later? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. She probably went to go check on Maya. They're probably caved in or some shit now. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred ca I, I'm gonna say cavern. God damn it. The secret cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Do you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right? Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall's sacred cavern now. Alright, let's go. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in. But, what we found was something none of us could have expected. No! Don't you dare! Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna walk in, I was gonna see her on the, f on the fucking floor dead. And I'm like, don't you dare kill Iris, you son of a bitch. How can there be even more locks? There's a demon, I tell you, there's a demon at play. What's the meaning of this? Oh, you're here. Iris. Iris? Please tell me. What the hell is going on? To be continued? How many to be continues do we have in this chapter? God damn. <laughs> That's like what, our third one? You know, once I'm done with this, I'm finally going to be able to watch the fucking Phoenix Wright anime. I heard it starts off pretty slow and bad, but then it gets really good. They do it justice, apparently. Right? Is this, is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, the trick logs. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. <laughs> it's not possible for me. What? What? What did you say, Bobby? During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, I was escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger. Edgeworth, how you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. Phoenix no like puny Edgeworth. <laughs> well, Edgeworth, go and get some air, man. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfectly. <laughs> it's 
no telling what sort of mistakes you can make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Hedgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in the corner of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. You're one to talk? That said, one must have pride to be effective at the job. At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. But I don't wanna. I'm gonna stay here and see if I... See if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. Let me see. Well, thanks for your help. Now then, do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Okay. Escape. Why'd you make a run for it? I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquake we had. I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was alright. But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern door. Hmm. I have... I might have a theory as to that, but it's just a game theory. Is it possible that either Maya is unconsciously protecting herself, or that either her sister or her mom from the great beyond are putting magical locks on the door because they're just like, gotta protect her. She's the last of our bloodline. Don't let the bloodline die. Who in the world would do something like this? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I can imagine it. Trick locks. These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Curian tradition. There's hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the locks can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francesca Von Karma. Can we stop using full names? When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. <laughs> Not nitpicking, but you just realized the locks are over the chains. I mean, they're PNGs. Like, <laughs> hmm. You are right. There's one. <laughs> there's one lock that's not. It. There's two locks that aren't even like really connected to the chains at all. To be honest, the one on like the bottom, the bottom right, it's like hanging off the side. It's weird. <laughs> Is it just me not spoiling the story? Okay. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here. Oh, they don't trust you. All oh, the spirits from the great beyond said, The demon, be gone! I shall not let you pass. <laughs> Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks. The first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Is there any way around this? Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose I w if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day, if I had... A day? Really? How many, com how many combination possibilities are there if it takes a day? I would assume it would take longer than that. A whole day? Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. We gotta wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're gonna have to call. You're gonna have to call on your inner strength now. A part of me just thinks Maya's just sitting there. She's like, oh, I thought this was part of the training. <laughs> She's like, I was meditating the whole time under a waterfall. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. 
Iris. On the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris. Don't give me that look. It makes me weak in the knees. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple at the time of the incident. But you were seen you were seen that same evening at the inner temple. And then you were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple too. Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple. It's as if you were a demon. Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Three? Only three? Okay. I knew it. There's something going on here we don't know about. I'm, I've been sticking with the demon theory for so long, I forgot my other three that I had. One of them was like twins or something. Which, I don't believe that would be a thing, right? I don't, she can't have a twin, right? Unless it's like a long lost twin. Because if she had a twin, then she would be part of the whole... The witness protection thing that they did. Separated at birth. Alright. I don't think... Will I have anything? To prove anything with her? I... Hmm. I don't think so. I'll go look around first. Before I do that, though, I just want to look at the locks. Maybe I can get a clue or something. This door. When I was here earlier, there was only one lock. But now there's five of them. Those change. It's almost as if... It's almost as if they're guarding something inside the cavern. I've never seen locks quite like this before. I have. I've seen these locks and chains just like these before. They look just like the one that guards a person's secrets. I wonder if these locks are guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cave. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> Japanese law, not American. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Is it? Because it's a... It's fucking... I'm trying to think of a way to co combine Japan and America together. Japanica? Ameripan? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking... Francesca's always like, I guess this is how y'all do it in America. But everybody's out here acting like it's Japan. You know what? We just live in that fucky place in Big Hero 6, just San Francisco. Just a mixture of it. Exactly! See? There we go. I knew I wasn't the only one who was going to think about it. Fucking called it at the same time. <laughs> but what? Japanifornia? <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Just like the most Japanese surfer dude ever. I mean, at that point, it would be like people from Hawaii though, right? <laughs> Alright. Let's go look for some clues. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those locks. Man, you can't break these cuffs. <laughs> I'm gonna break these cuffs, dude. So I should try to gather some more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, and Gumshoe. And Pearls. She did fucking run off! Where the hell did she go? It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all alone. When you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check on the shack just down the path. Maybe I'll find Larry there, sulking again. Oh, Pearl, this is where you came. Pearl? You hid in the fuck shack? Why? Pearls, what are you doing down here? Nothing. I'm a, uh, what about Mystic Maya? She's alright? Uh, well, I don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Oh, at least she had supervision. Wait, what are you doing in the- I'm not even gonna say the question, because I feel like it's a bad thing to ask. But I think the last person you should be near this shack with is Larry. He's a man unhinged. Larry. This is the loser shack. <laughs> loser shack. He went from the fuck shack to the loser shack. Oh, man. Okay. We're, lo 
where losers get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? Look, Mr. Nick. Mr. Lawrence did a picture of me. That's, uh, great pearls. Keeping it PG. <laughs> We're gonna gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out the way. I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearls. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Come on, Pearl. What the hell happened? <laughs> you know what? Let's ask about the sketch first. Ease into it. Larry, is there something you wanted to tell me about this picture? I got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now, with pearls, two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What I'm going to... What am I going to do with them? Alright then, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See, someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it! It's like a dream, a wonderful fantasy! See, you guys, you guys thought I was crazy when I called Maya, uh, not Maya, when I called Pearl evil, that she's secretly Palpatine. She's out here looking at burning women talking about, it's beautiful! No, 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 it wasn't a dream. She really flew, I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. But Mr. Lawrence... Not you too! Please don't look at me like that! She loves to see the world burn. <laughs> exactly. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase, I beg of you! Larry, I'm sorry to give you this news, but you are a nutcase. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry think he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I, when I was here that night. But I was wide awake after the lightning struck, and I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew it in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch as face value. Hey, what's with the look of doubt on your face? Alright, Pearl. Pearl? Yes, Mr. Nick? You've been, I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Don't, don't you give me that face. Where were you, and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um, I... I was just, well, I'm a kid, you know? I am innocent. I didn't set the bridge on fire. I'm sure it doesn't work. She, she walked, see, they thought it was a lightning strike. But what she actually did is she put her robes on. She walked up when no one was there, and then she went, UNLIMITED POWER! and start fucking zapping the bridge until it burned. I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it? I mean, it does. You went missing for, like, two days. Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be with Miss Elise reading a book together. But Miss Elise was murdered and you were at the Inner Temple. So what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a mind moment here. I'm gonna I'm gonna foretell the future. Maybe Pearls just having her little her her little child moment, where she's all like, "I broke the rules and I feel bad about it," because she probably went to go give Maya some food, and that's probably why there's gravy all over the walls. And she's like, "I wasn't supposed to give her food." I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Oh my fucking god. I've been a bad girl. <laughs> FBI should be knocking on this door at any moment now. That's why I'm being punished. What are you talking about, Pearl? My spiritual power has disappeared. 
Huh? What? Powers have disappeared. Alright, well tell me about this. What do you mean your powers disappeared, Pearls? It's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a painter who can't paint. Hey, what'd you look at me for? Pearls? Did you try to channel someone's spirit right at right here in Hasguro Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Perhaps. What'd you try to do? Way to go, Nick. You made her cry. Shut up, Larry. It's not just like a ooky spooky magic thing. She's fucking channeling the dead. Fucking witchcraft, I'm telling you. Necromancy type shit. That was really cruel of you. Just as I thought. I'm gonna have to break the I'm gonna have to break her psychic locks to get the truth out of her. Okay. I feel like I would need more information for that though. I really don't have much to go on with Pearl right now. So I just made her cry and just up and leave and I'm like, okay. I'll be back. <laughs> Tell me when you're done. I wonder if Sister Bikini is back at the main hall. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere? I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. A fucking bear? <laughs> Are you okay, Bikini? What's going on? Well, what's the damage? How's the sacred cavern? Cavern. I said it. I did it. I fucking did it. Ugh. Cavern. It looks like it survived, but we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who? Who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Kirin tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh yeah, we were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me how the Master of the Kirin disappeared 17 years ago? I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago, when Mystic Elise, and I mean Mystic Misty, arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said, Someone's trying to destroy the Kirin tradition, Maine's family line. You know, I said it as a joke earlier of like, destroy the bloodline, but come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? What the fuck? Just fucking Mia's dead. <laughs> Mia's dead. Maya's been locked up how many times? Misty's dead. Pearl lost her spiritual power. And fucking Morgan is incarcerated. I'm here to put a stop to them. It's a demon, I'm telling you. It's a demon. Got a fucking this is some this is some fucking lock and key type shit. For those who don't know what that is, that's a show on Netflix based off a very dark comic series. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line. There's only one heir to the title of Master at any time, and is usually the eldest. That child became the new Master of Kirin, and her daughter's the main family. All other mediums... mediums... All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have and always will plot to erase those of the mainline family. Is the power of the, is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? Out here being fucking Shredder, Master Splinter, going at it. Okay. You believe in the technique, don't you, Mister Right? You know the power is real. Uh, yeah. Seen it too many times. Yes, I do. 
sometimes we abuse that power. Like having Maya, having Mia take over Maya so she can flaunt her bosom to an old pervy dude. It's been two years since I first met Maya. And in that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the Mask to Mask case, during, I was just talking about it. <laughs> during the Maggie B Bird case, too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. I'm trying. I was, I was about to say, I'm trying my best not to make Star Wars references, but I already did them, didn't I? Subconsciously. God damn it. If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can ever imagine. They said, alright, let's kill Mia. Now she's a fucking force ghost. The carrying training, the carrying technique has made a huge difference in the world, you know? I mean, the ability to commute with the dead, that's true psychic power, you know? Members of the tradition have always been there behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expect you, I kind of expect you to be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see? All because of one little mistake. Oh, yeah. The whole case that happened with, uh, when they fucked up. Well, when Misty fucked up. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember the name of the incident. It was like what was it? It was DL three or some shit like that. DCL three or something. The incident. She's talking about what I think she is. I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. DL six. Fuck! I was close. You know why there's a six in there? It's because of the fucking demon. Demons at play. I'm telling you. I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 Incident. That's the name of the file. The DL6 Incident? I knew it. The DL6 Incident. I know it well. I handled a related case just two years ago. Ah, uh, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. A murderer that took place... A murderer? A murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, Maya's mother. Though, Mystic Missy's channeling... Oh, though. Through Misty Mix's channeling, the name of, the cer of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred, to, were spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty. Wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world has ever seen the cure. It was the first case the world has ever seen the curing tra What the f Why do I feel like that's not written correctly? It was the first case the world had ever seen the curing tradition openly involved in. Okay. Gotta complete it. Then it sounds. Then it sounds coherent. <laughs> it was all over the medium. The public, the, 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 god damn it, words, say them, please. The judiciary, judiciary, can't say it. Fucking kill me now. The people of the Korean village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic, said Mystic Misty's powers was a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, when the world needed her most. A hundred years I passed, and then we found a new medium. A medium named Maya. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Well, everyone still thought her as a fraud, but I know the truth. Misty Fay's spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> the Curian tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan... Does she mean Maya? You guys are really crazy. How does this family... How does this shit work? So say you do... 
off the bloodline and you fucking get Maya out the picture, does, like, is it like, wh what is it? How does that work? Does, does like, by the spirits that be, does the, tra does the fucking magical power just transfer over to someone? Right? Or is everyone able to do it in some sort of fashion with enough training? If you're in, in the clan, right? Because I know Pearl can do it. And she's better at it than Maya. Spiritual powers of the curing channeling technique is in the blood. Maya told me the exact same thing before. We, the women of the Fey clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to commute with the spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can interact, interact can inherit the power. So you just gotta be part of the family. But there's the main family and the sub-family. Okay. Genetics and specific genes sequencing? Hmm. Alright. So, wait. So is... Is Morgan Misty's sister? Or does she marry into the family? I assume she's Misty's sister, right? Because the men of the family just don't do shit, right? They just kind of, they end up leaving, right? Because they don't have any say-so, really? <laughs> the, f uh, the main family's bloodline steam directly from Mystic Ami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become branch family, uh, the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of the tragedy. You know. So what, you guys been killing each other for years? <laughs> it's always the cause of the tragedy. So this has been happening, like, forever? How come we never heard about this shit? Like, hey guys, you heard of this fucky village? Called the Kurain village. And a bunch of fucking psychics just murder each other. Every, like... 50 years or so. <laughs> they have a fucking... They have a Hunger Games. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life. As a result. Do you know what Mystic Maya is rumored to have said? I said Maya, didn't I? Mia, my bad. Mia. Mystic Mia! <laughs> she said it was only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, M Mystic Misty, and she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got, got tired of seeing all the rivalry between the mom and her aunt. That's right. Misty Faye had an elder sister, too. Oh. Morgan was the older sister. I always thought she... Oh, okay. And Misty has superior powers. <clears throat> Misty has superior powers. And she usurped the master's seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan. As you probably know. Morgan. There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now. In Maya's home. Dude, I'm still just like... I still can't believe how quick Pearl just got over her mom being super evil. <laughs> you know what? That's where she inherited it from. <laughs> what she did was terrible. It was, it was also she could make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter... Then you must already realize that Iris... That Iris what? Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter. There are moments that... I, d I know I don't have a face cam, but I'm making a face right now. What? <laughs> what is... What is with this family? 
What the fuck is wrong with each and every one of you? What? Okay. So, wait. Huh? So, so, wait, hold up. Wait. Wait. Wait a goddamn minute. Wait a god. Wait. Hold up. I'm doing some brain gymnastics right now. Hold up. Ain't no fucking way <laughs> you're telling me that her daughter just somehow looks like Dahlia. Just like that, right? You can't tell me that's a coincidence. You can't just be like, oh, her daughter just looks like Dahlia. Did more. What happened? Hold up. What happened? Was more did Morgan like give her daughter away and is that why Dahlia was part of a different family? Cause there's no fucking way you can tell me that Dahlia and Iris are two different people. I'm not having that shit. I don't believe it. Is Hmm That what? <laughs> I'll find out soon. Hold up. Wait, no. Now I'm also, I'm going to double down on my demon theory. <laughs> because, let's say, let's say, somehow Morgan was like, Morgan just pulled a fucking Heihachi and threw her ass off the cliff, right? And just said, I don't need you, daughter. You're weak. Fucking, and then she went to a different family, right? You know what? No, fuck it. Actually, let's say she didn't go to a different family. Let's say... She thought her daughter was weak. Dolly's a different person. Goes off to jail. Somehow dies. And then somehow, Dahlia's ghost just forces her way into, into fucking Iris's body. And she's possessed by a demon. It's some shit. What's going on here? Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? That means she would have to left home before Pearl was born, right? Either that or she's being possessed. Because there's no way, if Pearl knew it, there's no way she'd be like, Oh, that's my sister. No way she wouldn't just like, walk past her and be like, I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> like, she'd just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter. Oops, I thought you already knew. Sound like you met one of the Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Fay. But I always thought she was the only child. You chess. That child? She's Mystic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan? But well, she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be co-conspirators in a murder case last year. Mind if you whisper a quick question? Oh, go ahead. It was all done to set Pearl up as the next master. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not three? Who the fuck is the second one? Or third one? Or first one? What the fuck? Wait, what? Three? Yes, Iris, her twin si- oh, Fucking hell. Oh. No fucking way. What? I threw my twin theory out the window. Then why is her twin part of a different family? Did she just run away? What happened? Were they separated at birth? What happened? What happened? What? <laughs> twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. 
After clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. It wasn't many years later that Kyrian's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. He left her in the village, taking their twin daughter with him. But he just talked the one daughter? Why the one? For what reason? Was it like, what? <laughs> huh? What's going on? Uh. Hold up, let me read this real quick. Da -da -da. Oh no, yeah, no, the, the kid came back in the house, right? Fucking came back in the house. He been came back. That's why I said I might have to step away once in a while because fucking like I just opened the door and I'm like, I'm like, why is he outside by himself? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but he's now he's watching TV right now. If you hear a TV in my background, it's him watching it. <laughs> usually, usually he screams to the top of his lungs, but for some reason he's not doing it right now. He left her and he left her and the village and took their twin daughter. Why take one daughter though? How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end he remarried and that's when it happened. He decided to What? Oh Here's an evil one and a good one. He decided to give her, uh, to give his girl up to be looked after by us here at the temple. What? But why? <laughs> Moment in the game. This broke my, this is breaking my brain right now too, because why? What? But Dahlia had an older sister too. Well, you know... What? He decided to give one of his daughters up to be looked after. But, so he had his eldest and the two twins and just fucking said, Eh, fuck it, give away one of the twins? Is that what he did? It was Irish, you see. It's unbelievable. Cyrus had a twin sister. Could it be? Could you tell me more? Can you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. A jeweler. Thank you very much. You help clear up a lot of details. <laughs> Pearls had two old Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. <laughs> no doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean by? It? Her twin daughters were taken from her by the jeweler husband, but even that couldn't destroy her dream that the child of hers would one day lead clan. That's why she had Pearl. So Pearl never knew- Okay, so she did have her after. And then I get- Okay. Because in my mind, I'm like, were, there just, were they just older than Pearl? And then he just took the twins and left Pearl or whatever? Is, do they share the same father? But no. I guess they might have been babies and he just took the kids and left one day. Because there was only two. And then Pearl came after because Morgan was like, gotta have a baby. Okay. What the fuck? So one wants one wants us all dead, and the other one is fucking heaven's angel. <laughs> I was able to break free of the of the bars that confined her. So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens, <laughs> but this information will be useless unless I can flush it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get more info. Well, I know exactly where the fuck to go now. 
Thanks, Bikini. Okay. I think... I think I can get what I need out of Pearl. Oh shit, what's going on here? Hmm? I was expecting Larry and Pearls to be here. I guess they must have gone to collect firewood. I suppose I have to check back later. Damn. You. You. Ooh, you make me so mad and happy at the same time. She better be. She better be in future games. She better be in future games. I'm gonna be mad if I never see her again. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking angry. All right. Okay. All right. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Spill it. Spill it. I think it's time that you told the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hasekura Temple the entire time. You still claim that to be the truth? Yes. That's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me, too. But I can't. Because this person... This person saw you somewhere else on that night. She didn't see her, she saw her fucking twin, bro. She's out here hiding in the woods. She's like a fucking monster. She's a demon. <laughs> I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night, I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Wait, so... Does Dahlia have mystic powers? <laughs> what? She's out here putting locks on the fucking... Is she in there with Maya? Oh, no. They're having a fucking mental battle in there. Psychic power battle. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple, but... Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up, violently. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to the Husker temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you, she spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris. You were there at the inner temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. The acolyte, actual, the acolyte actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left about 9.40 p.m., I think. I'm sorry, Iris, but line just doesn't suit you. It suits your fucking demon twin sister. Now you, now you say you left the main hall at 9.40. But what you say doesn't add up. It doesn't add up because of the snowmobile. Right? Would that be- why am I- what? Oh. How do I- There we go. <laughs> it doesn't add up because of the snowmobile, I think. Maybe. The tracks, I would assume. Right? Because weather report- because it would still be snowing, right? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, probably. Hold up. Let me rethink this. Ran the lights out. Oh, yeah, because you rang the lights out. You were here. What? Liar. <laughs> you yourself testified to the contrary. Don't you remember? Also, I was there. <laughs> you said you rang the lights out at 10 o'clock that night. Oh. Plus, only moments before you rang the bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. These two eyes, motherfucker, right here. Me. Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right. I remember. Dude, I would have been, I would have lost my mind if she said, I didn't give you that. <laughs> I would have been like, <gasps>
I would have been so fucking shocked. I was like, I was in the room with the murderer. <laughs> and that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. At the same damn time. <laughs> it's time you tell me exactly what's been going on. So far, I've managed to prove to you. Have you been hiding your sister? Did you know your sister's here? Have you been hiding a fugitive? First, on the night of the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. And second, at the exact time, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hansgrove Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. There's two of you. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means, there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other exp explanation, Iris. But that's crazy! How could that be? There's only one of me! It's impossible! Impossible? I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves that there's more than one of me. Why? Why you gotta hurt my heart so? Uh, Mr. Wright? You said there was another me. I was kind of expecting someone that looked like me, you know? I guess so. In that case, you're saying that I look like this person? Well, I can't say what the hunt. Can you show me something that you're 100% certain about then? Oh, you... <laughs> She's like, listen, you saying I got a twin, but you don't know if I got a twin. You ain't got no names, no numbers, no details. I'm... She's like, I can't take that. I can't take a guess. Irrefutable. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I don't mean to be uncooperative, but you're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me evidence. Show me something that proves there's more than one of me. Uh -huh. I wouldn't call it irrefutable, but... Yeah. Yeah, okay. How many damage am I gonna take from this? Is it two? Okay, the other, the only other thing I can think of right now off the top of my head is the hood. Because people are saying they saw you with the hood, but... Hmm. I may, I just might not have it. Morgan Fay's daughter has twisted her father. He was in jewel, apparently. Hmm. Misty Faye and Mother of Pearl and Iris. Fuck. See, if it would have said, and Mother of Iris and her twin sister, then that probably would have helped. Fuck me. Huh. Show me evidence shows something that proves there's more than one of me. There's more than one of you. I don't have anything. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. You fucking win this round. You win. You got me. The cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. Gotta be a tough job. Fucking Edgeworth! I forgot! Motherfucker, tell me you have like a birth certificate or something. Especially with someone giving you the evil line the whole time. How could I have, how could I have done that? I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth. Hey! Don't you dare run away! What do you want, right? What do I want? I want your tender loving, baby. Come here. If you came here to laugh at me, 
Then get on with it. Go on, laugh away. I was ready to hug. I was ready to hug it out with him. <laughs> he's like, I was ready to touch up on that man. But he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look at something. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. I don't give a fuck about what you were reminded of. Tell me! <laughs> Do you know that Iris had a twin sister? What? <laughs> a twin? You can't be serious. Mr. Bikini told me, but... The problem is, she didn't know the name of the twin sister. There was nothing about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. But why? Why the fuck? Is it... What? Why? Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently her sister was raised by her father. A jeweler, I think. A jeweler. Right? I... Just might know who this twin sister of hers is. I had a feeling you... Would you say that? Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Hawthorne, right? How many channel points do you need to give Edgeworth a hug? A million. He's worth it, though. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first court case six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to the inexperience, the defendant died. You're talking about Terry Flaws, right? Do you know about that case? Yeah, that's right, I'm still calling them Flaws, I'm not calling them Falls. <laughs> Thanks, I'll start saving up now. <laughs> Alright. You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked one of Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was a key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Flaws conspired, conspired, conspired together to stage a fake kidnapping 11 years ago. Right here in this place, too. Sploosh. They stole a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia's father. Hey man, Edgeworth, you're worth half that, half that jewel, okay? Five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. Her sister? Well, her stepsister, actually. They weren't blood related. Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father's second wife. Oh, this is when she entered my life. The woman who tried to kill me. So after Terry Flaws died, what happened to Dahlia? Did you check that out? Does it really matter? Like I said, Dahlia isn't connected with this case. Motherfucker, I just told you they're twins! Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dahlia Hawthorne is dead. What? We're back to the demon theory. Why? Her, me her metabolic her metabolic process of a matter of wait what? Well, her metabolic processes are a matter of interest only the historians, so to speak. <laughs> huh? You tell me? No, mother. I'm not taking word of mouth. I need a death certificate. What do you mean, Dahlia Hawthorne's dead, Edgeworth? Right? I must confess that I re in reading her file, I came to know of the murder case you were involved in during your college years. Hey, listen, so sometimes, sometimes, just because they're evil and crazy doesn't mean that they're not, they're not girlfriend material, okay? You just, listen, listen. It was during a phase, okay? <laughs> I was going through a phase. 
The other Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of Mia Fey. Demon, look at her. At the time, Dahlia, it's like she was possessed by a demon. Ah! Uh, so she started bleeding and turned to a demon. It's been almost five years since the guilty verdict was handed down, and her sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. That's defi- that's- that's- That's definitive, okay? Executed. I'm sure that's a bit of a shock to you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected with this case. She's dead. Once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. She's a demon, motherfucker. Listen to me. All you motherfuckers are calling me crazy. She's possessing her sister. And she gets away with it because they're twins. There's no way to, to revive the dead? I wonder. Seems you're not aware of one, of one other connection yet, Edgeworth. And what's that? It's about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne's mother. Their mother? What's their mom got to do with this? She's Morgan Fay, a spear medium from the branch family of the Curane Channeling Technique. Did you say Curane Channeling Technique? Do you know something about it? Oh, yes. I know it's connected with the fraudulent spirit medium. Motherfucker, you saw chains and locks coming out of people's fucking spirit space. You telling me you don't fucking believe this shit? I was involved in another nightmare 17 years ago. I was caught up in the middle of the murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped, and that's when they called in her. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of the channeling school. But you know what happened. As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was, ac was accused of murder. She and her power. She and her powers, they were all far fraudulent. Edgeworth. Go to the police record room. It's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. Of course, how could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in that case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday. And then you'll see that the curing challenge technique is real. You'll become a believer! You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation on the garden here. There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the writing in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after the murder. Surely, you don't suspect. Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a suspect. How many times you guys plan on locking her up? Come on! Maya as well as a... Okay. You guys are, you guys are fucking evil. So I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes, you little bitch. No, but well, thankfully my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. 17 years ago, when we were little kids at the same elementary school. Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with the big quake that hit the courthouse. It hit the courthouse. I just like... Lost my fucking voice for a moment there. Let me take a sip of my water. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> yes. I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was the defense attorney. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. A single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day, all because of that earthquake. And now I'm rich as fuck, bitch. <laughs> my dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. 
And that case has finally resolved two years ago, right? Think I don't know that? I was there. It was such a shock, I never imagined I could have... Uh, I could have been... <clears throat> I could be so wrong about myself and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think. So no more of the self-pity, okay? Now kiss me, big boy. Alright, Edgeworth. Bye. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself or I'll do it for you. Oh. Okay, I thought I can... I thought I can go... Huh. Okay, I... I was thinking that I could go, um... Whatchamacallit? To the precinct, but I guess not. Let me head to the courtyard. There's gotta be someone in here. Gumshoe, you here? Sounds like someone's happy. What tune are they humming? No motive, no crime, no motive, no crime. Sing it with me now. <laughs> I remember when we used to search in that channeling room in Curane. Whoops, I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. The investigators investigate for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have, good cases we lost. Long, long the way. I would have never guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. You singing reggae? <laughs> now I just want Gumshoe with the fucking Bob Marley hat and just like dreadlocks pouring out of it. Every case is gonna be alright. <laughs> Every case gonna be alright. <laughs> hey, pal. Huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? I just got here. Oh, okay. So, what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find the real murder weapon. The real murder weapon? The barbed sword thing turned to be turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving it my best shot, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of papers. They look like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. Get me that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hand it! How about the letter you found? Don't remind me, pal. I'm... I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I found is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in the incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. And with that, I found my new drawing challenge slash inspiration. What's that? Oh, fucking reggae, <laughs> reggae gumshoe. <laughs> there was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Reggae gumshoe. <laughs> just like fucking five joints in his mouth, just going like, I'm investigating mine. <laughs> Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I got it right here if you want to take a look. Can I? The Speaking of reggae things, I fucking love the reggae banana. <laughs> Just random thought. I love that damn thing. It makes me smile every time. Sure, go nuts. I don't want a pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it has no relation to the case whatsoever. Spirit mediums? You fucking idiot. <laughs> He's got to be important if they mention spirit mediums and masters. I better give it a good look over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it into the trash when you're done. Littering is a crime. Yeah, whatever. Oh, not not present. I just want to check it. Okay, be careful. Once night falls, should be there as soon as you hear the lights. Uh, Belle, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. No! It was, she was a demon! All you motherfuckers thought I was crazy. I called it. 
She out here channeling demons. Her name is, she's, oh, she is our, hmm, she's our ally? The whole blank? Here's a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is burned, once this is burned, it also makes time. Wait, what? Tell everyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master and the fires of Hades and bring out vengeance to fruition. No fucking way. Pearl, what did you do? Pearl? 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 Pearl, I need to talk to you. So how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but I guess I, I guess it can't hurt. Looked like the murder took place in the inner temple garden. And they're talking about bloody writing on the lantern pretty ser- Wow, talking. They're taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What do you mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is if you don't find Maya down in the sacred ca cavern, we're gonna, fa we're gonna be faced with an ugly situation. What kind of situation? You got me. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Godot. Godot? What do you mean by that? So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the blade that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for? Yep. And man, is a tiring work. Well, let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. I'm a turkey. I'm a turkey. <laughs> you got it? You a beef jerky? Anybody ever play Prapper Rapper? <laughs> the other day I was called a little turkey, but I'm a chicken, you beef jerky. <laughs> Put the cake in the oven for a while. Come on, clean the pile. I like Prapper the Rapper. We got the feathers of we got the feathers of forensics in our cat these days. We're using the department's secret weapons on this. Secret weapon. Oh, a weapon. What's the secret weapon of yours? You want to know? You got to think scientifically, okay? All right. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are scientifically speaking made of metal, right? Any questions so far? Nope. I know what he's gonna say, but I'll let him, I'll let him look smart. <laughs> so, what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da, metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from my way. Well, you wanna give a scientific, you wanna give a scientific investigation a go? All right, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta go check on something.
Okay, I have returned. All right, what the hell were we doing? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. I just get oh, why is the hold up? There we go. Wait, is that the no? Where's the audio for the game? Pretty boring after a while. Let's give it a try. I don't know. Should I help detect the gumshoe up or not? I'll play forensic expert. Why not? Come on, pal. It's good fun, I'm telling you. Alright then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. It's the absolute best. It's so sensitive you can make it cry. It's so high tech you can skydive off of it. Oh, bother. So now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. It's possible that the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure, that's what they're trying to find out. Right, so first, let's turn the detector on. That's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off or something, off something metallic. Next, move the detector around and give the courtyard a good look, see pal. Don't worry, this baby will let you know when you hit on something. And when that happens, press X. Get the area a good hard stare. This thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight too. Take a good look at everything and anything. Hmm. It's a ladder. See, I knew this was weird. What the hell is this? Looks like there's something round buried around here. Don't touch that, pal. Huh? What is it? It's a trap. People set them out to catch us detectives. They're real nasty. A trap for detectives? You mean like those fierce traps with sharp teeth and <laughs> it's supposed to snag your leg? Yeah, those. I got my finger caught in one of those things. Your finger? There was, there was a bit of cheese and it looked so tasty. <laughs> there was some cheese and it, it was so good. I was like, great God, that shit was cheesy. Are you okay? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> My dog just like flipped out. Are you okay over there? I think she scared herself. <laughs> and it looks so tasty. I reached out and then BAM! I'm not sure I don't know how to respond to the story as, <laughs> as stupidity <laughs> as stupidly pitiful as that. Wow. So that's a that's a bear trap in there, right? Wait, what the hell's over here then? What's this? A pen? Hey, I've been looking for that. Huh? It's yours? Yeah, my old man gave it to me when I was qualified as detective. He told me it'd be good for sticking in suspects' faces. It makes you detectives sound real nasty. It's my dream to stick it in your face one day, right? Then don't go losing it. Alright, then what's... Is it still tech picking up the pen? Because this is... Hmm, doesn't look like anything here. Hey, pal. I gotta do. Okay. Alright, come down. Is it just picking up the statue? Alright. Oh. What the hell is this? Looks like a wallet? Aha! That's where it's been. It's yours, detective. I'm always dropping it, so I put a bell on it. But you still drop it anyways? Yeah, but now I found it again. The wallet's completely empty. Well, I drop it all the time, so I don't put any money in it anymore. I don't believe that. Then how come the metal detector picked it up? Well, it's because of the bell, I guess. Hmm. The sled is metal. Is it just picking... Is it just picking this up again? Wait... What? Metal on this? This is Elisa's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector's reacting to it. Yeah, but... Hey... But however you look at it, it's made out of wood, right? I don't... I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of the metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? 
It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off. Examining evidence is job for the... The top of it came off. Look at what you've done. You damaged a really important piece of evidence. Oh, shit. What? Why? Why? For what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did... Did Misty come here to kill someone? A sword? Inside the staff. Is this... Could it be... The murder weapon? Uh... Alright. I'd never have guessed there would be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. We call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. This one's a real gem. The worksmanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword. Or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how gunshoe mines work. If the real scene of the crime was in was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall? Hey, gumshoe. Who knows about the hidden sword? No one. I don't know for a murder weapon, it's pretty goddamn clean, that's for sure. Even the police didn't know about it until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in gumshoe. It doesn't look like there's any traces of blood on it. Then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? No, 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 no. I'm sure someone just whipped it off after the murder. Whipped it off. Wiped it off. Yeah, of course. I think it's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. It's about the same length as the... At the... At God, I can't say that word. She, 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 she teach, though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run over to forensics. Yeah, see if you can find some trace of blood on that shit. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if... Even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal. Every case is gonna be alright. <laughs> Wait up, detective! Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know? You're gonna get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about? Please? Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern, right? Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think... Maya's been murdered? Don't! You don't say that word. Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. They're looking kind of viridian there. Okay, okay. Just stop it with the face, pal. One thing, though. The staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. You know what, Gumshoe? That's one of the best ideas that ever came out of your goddamn mouth. It's such a regular run-of-the-mill staff, you got it? Okay, now you go take it. Now you go take care of it, pal. Thank you, detective. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Gumshoe? You? you know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when we find Maya? Sure, thanks. Hmm. I can't help but wonder, though. Why was Elite? What was Elise doing with a staff like this in the first place? Hmm. My fucking... My headphones keep like cutting in and out. So like, 
sometimes I'll hear the game and the other times I won't. I think it's probably my fucking USB. I'll get that checked out this weekend. I'll check it out. I'll finagle some wires in there. Or maybe something with my motherboard is acting up. I hope it's not my motherboard. Oh god, please don't let it be my motherboard. Alright. Um... Damn, if my fucking... If my... Shit, if my headphones been cutting in now. I hope my microphone hasn't been doing that. I really hope it hasn't. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's see. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do? I think I gotta go look for Pearl now, right? I still don't have any defin definitive evidence. Hmm. What the hell's going on out there? Give me a second, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I'm back. So what just happened was that the world's worst parents just arrived back home. <laughs> Fucking had to had to go and check things out, make sure no fight starts happening. Cause, you know, way to leave your four year old outside. 2 o'clock in the morning, jackass. Anyways, enough about my problems. Let's move on. Uh, so what the hell was I doing? I think I went to go look for Pearl, right? Uh, Pearl should be... Pearl should be back at the, uh... I assume she would... Her and Larry would be back at the shack, right? You guys are still not here. Holy shit, wow. So what did I get? Hmm. Can I still talk to Gumshoe? You don't have anything new for me, right? I don't think if I showed her anything, she would... You know anything about these letters? You ever seen this shit before? No? Okay. Hmm. Gumshoe, are you still here? You are still here, great. You know anything about the spear? It's found at this bridge. The artist guy said... As the defendant flew over the burning bridge, according to his testimony, she dropped it. Okay. I think I talked to him earlier, right? Yeah, I did talk to him earlier about it. Cool. What about this, Detective Gumshoe? Nope. Alright, cool. Um... I guess that's... Yeah, do I still have... 
Oh, I thought I would have. I thought he would give me the metal detector. To be honest. Hmm. Guess the metal detector was just like a one-time thing. Uh, let's see. Going to head on back. Back to the garden. What's this? This just sticks out. What is this? It's an anchor for one of the wires that used to hold the bridge. I guess it must have been snapped during the fire. Hmm. There's something strange about the incinerator. I'm sure there was snow in it the first time I saw it. Hmm, it's a shame there isn't a trace. Okay. Oops. Don't think there's anything else here. Hey, Edgeworth. What do you know about... Wait, do we have the cane? We have the cane sword. Okay, I'm not going to show it to him. What do you know about this, buddy? I would assume you wouldn't know anything about it, but you know. What do you think about this? Sorry, right? Your defense turn. Oh, yeah. I can't. Okay, yeah. Okay, great. Great, yeah. You're not going to help me regardless. Bastard. You. I have feelings for you and feelings against you. What the hell is this? Take a look at this for me, Iris. Ow! The looks are far more important at the moment. What? The locks are far more important at the moment. She's right. I'm gonna have to hold off asking her. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Oh, I can't show her evidence, but I can ask her fucking deep, meaningful questions. Alright. Well, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys, I'm out of here. I'm gonna take my evidence. I'm gonna go home. So, really, what am I missing then? Look at the graffiti scrawled right on the front of the shack. At least he managed to get a pretty good likeness. When I really think about it, I guess well, that kind of art suits him. I mean, his very existence is an art of sorts. Hmm. Where would I go? Main gate. Suspension bridge. Back in here. I don't think there's anything around here to check out, right? Hmm. This crystal spear. It's not from the demon warding hood. From the hood, I guess it must be from Dolly's staff. Did I say Dolly? Oh, my, my bad. Fucking Elise's staff. We got the blood on it. Poor Mystic Elise. Okay. Honestly, it's like the end of the world. It's not a good thing, that's for sure. I think people have gall to call this kind of scribbling by the name of Art. Hmm. Definitely the end of the world. Okay, so I definitely did have her read that before. Okay. Um, would you like... Okay. Our scroll, our precious scroll, what on earth have you done to it? No, it wasn't me, I swear. But who did this, and why would anyone cover the thing in gravy? More importantly, does this have anything to do with the case? I'm about this picture. Oh, that old thing? I always turned those reporter types away in the past. But Iris was so insistent that, at the time. Iris? Oh, yes. Iris loves to be the center of attention, you know? Really? And that kind of hard to believe. I wanted to get... I wanted to get a clear verification from someone that's like, Yeah, Iris told me to do this. Can I show it to Iris? Will she react to it? Will she be like, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I ain't never tucked that picture a day in my life. Alright, Iris. Real quick. I know, I know karma's gonna stop me, but look at this. Damn it. 
Alright, shit. I mean, you're the only lead I got right now, so... What the fuck is wrong with me? Stop it. Alright, round two. That's the only thing I got that I can think of. Because this person saw you somewhere else on that night. Ba Bam. It's a long shot, but I'm assuming that... It's the only, it's the only, like, document that I have of someone that looks like her. Hmm. Okay. There's two of you. Can't hide from the truth. Not any longer. This is the only thing I got. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Then what am I missing? Irrefutable evidence. Did this get updated? Oh, it did get updated. Okay, fuck. Thank you. <laughs> I have a firm grasp on the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps. That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne. A woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you, who was here at the temple on the night of the murder, it was your twin sister. But you just said yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. After for yeah, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo, a training ground for the Kirin channeling technique. Hmm. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. I'm sorry, Iris. I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the inner temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The Iris that Sister Bikini saw at the inner temple on that night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this? Because, because my sister always does the right thing. Since when? Since when? Fucking excuse me? Because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? The hell are you talking about? That's why I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What the hell? What the fuck you on about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. So what started her... started her down the twisted path. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end she lost her life. 
It's all because I betrayed her. And how did you betray her? There's no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I helped plan the whole thing. What? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? How would you help her? Stealing two million dollars? From your own father? That's awful! But I promised. I promised I helped. And she didn't do it for the money. You telling me she just wanted to go back home? That's the only thing I can think of. Huh? It was revenge on her father. Revenge? What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Her mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fay family. The main family had lots of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. And that's the reason our father married our mother in the first place, for power. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it from her, she took over as the master of the Kirin. That would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. But before long, the credibility of the Kirin tradition hit rock bottom. The new master mystic, the new master mystic Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated this place. He said it was a hick dive, and that he had no reason to stay there. And that's when you came here to Hasakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I had no place in his new family, you see. Oh. And I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her and being rejected by her own family. I've heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. Uh, I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident. Everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fae Clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister Dahlia Hawthorne poisoned a lawyer, she began a relationship with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student... Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, I knew it, but to hear it out loud... I see. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix! There's still much time there's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. Because I better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl psychic locks. Listen, she may hate my guts. But we're 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 still we're still there's still a chance between us, right? Right, Iris? Right? I can't let you die. You gotta be the you, you gotta show up in the future game, please. Please. Oh. 
Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that sucks. Look at that. They really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. <laughs> You're too late, Nick. If you came here for one of our potatoes, we've already polished them all off. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I needed. Now I just need to find out what Pearls is hiding. Alright. Pearl? Pearl. Pearl, listen. I'm emotionally in a weak spot right now. I need your full cooperation with me. Full cooperation. Okay. Okay, Pearl. Did you summon your dead sister? And was her demon power too powerful even for you to hold? And you lost all your spirit power in the process? After dining on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise's room reading a book together, correct? Yes, I was so happy when she invited me. But I didn't go in the end. You didn't go. No, there's somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried I had to go. I didn't know. Question, because I don't remember. But who suggested the resort in the first place? Was it Pearl? Pearl? Pearl, I love you. You gotta work with me here. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. So Pearl never went to Lisa's room because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls? On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Look why she's still not gonna open up to me. This is where you went because you were so worried, right? The next question is, who or what you were who or what you were worried about? I'm gonna take a guess. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You mean you'd know? If I'm right, you'll tell me the whole truth. Okay. You went to this place for one specific for one simple reason. It is because of Is it because of this or is it because of Maya? Was it because of this? Well, pearls? Something I'm worrying about right now, actually. What's that? You, Mr. Nick. Your face is turning a really strange color. Huh? You shouldn't work so hard, you know? Okay. <laughs> I'm being burned by a fucking nine-year-old. Okay. Okay. Just had to make sure. I'm, I'm like three steps ahead of her right now, okay? I'm like hurting myself. So she went there for Maya. Wait, where's Maya? Oh, she's all the way at the front this time. <laughs> it's obvious what you were worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for the special course. Well, my my. Quite brave of you considering how cold it is. No people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those you channel. Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? Because it was you who introduced Hazakura Temple to Maya in the first place. So it was you. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, don't tell- Oh, don't tell me your mom sent you a letter from prison and then you found the resort and then you set up the plan. <sighs> you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. 
That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing in, in their temple. They were clear now that you went to the inner temple. What's not clear is what happened after that. About what time was it when you headed over to the inner temple? It was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the, I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to go there before it started. But there was so much snow, so I didn't get there until 10. Until after 10? How'd you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ring for lights out. She heard the lights out bell. The Hunskura Temple's bell is pretty tough, huh? You must have really good hearing. I wasn't really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's it. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She's trying to hear the bell. Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing the bell? Oh, I, uh, I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell is because of this. Pearl? Pearl, what did you do? Pearl? Pearl, what did you do? You were given instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper? Wh where'd you? And the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls? You were following the instructions in the letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sounds of the lights out bell. I'm speechless, Mr. Nick. You're amazing. Flattery will get you nowhere, child. These instructions that were found in the incinerator, I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? I... no. As you can see, a large portion... Uh, portion? <laughs> a large portion uh, has been burnt. But the last action is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the light sap bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to channel? Taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing. Whose spirit would Pearl have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night. Pearls? Pearls? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. <laughs> it was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name that was on the letter. It's just as I suspected. It was Iris. It was Iris whose sister Bikini met in the inner temple that night. It was Dolly Hawthorne. Where'd you get the fuck? Wait, what? Where'd you get the fucking hood then? I thought they didn't have spares. Do you know anything about her pearls? Do you know what kind of woman Dolly Hawthorne was? No. I never heard of anyone by the name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dolly is her sister. I wrote the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Whoever it is asks you to channel the spirit of someone you never heard of. There's a quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. So here's my next question. Who wrote the set of instructions for you? Was it your mom? Pearls? I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? But you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you- I figured it out. The person who wrote this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Crying will get you nowhere, child! <laughs> you brought off my personal demons, I'm crying on the inside. Alright, Pearls, it's time for you to start telling me the truth. Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a child. Oh, trust me, I know you're a fucking demon. 
what you're trying to say. I follow these instructions. <laughs> I'd like to see some proof. What? <laughs> because I... I don't think you have any. Mm. She said anything. She'll say anything. Okay. I guess I have to produce more evidence. One more thing I should do. Alright, Pearls. We both know something. We know we both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. I knew it! However, I don't know that <laughs> I don't know that whoever did it was a child. I don't know? I do know. I misread that completely. <laughs> How do you know that? Could I have been an adult? No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A simple mistake? What do you mean by that? I'm sure you thought you were carefully f you were carefully following the instructions you were given. But you mis you mis <laughs> misunderstood some of the words. Evidence to prove it. Misunderstood some of the words. What? What did you What did you do? Wait, what? You never know, heard her name is both long and a picture of her. You use it when you channel her. I don't know you. I know you can do it. But no. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone about the liver. Gravely roast the master in fires of Hades and bring her out. Bring our vengeance to food. Pearl, did you mistake? Listen, I know I'm not the most liter literary smarty person out there, you know? I flub my words, I make mistakes. There's words I have not seen before. But, did you mistake gravely for gravy? Pearl? Pearl? It was you who spat splattered gravy on the hanging scroll, wasn't it? Huh? What? Why would I do something like... Do you remember what was written in the letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast, amongst other. How did you know that? Because you asked the person that you helped murder... You're like, how do I read this? What are these words? Remember the conversation you had with Miss Elise on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? I'd love to. Um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Miss Elise? So for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. Kind of a tough word. Sure, Miss Elise taught you how to read gravely and roast. But what she didn't teach you is what it meant. Gravely sounded like gravy to me. And the only roast I could think of was the food. And that's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from the, ni from the night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I really am useless. I couldn't even burn the I couldn't even burn the letter properly, as my mother had asked me to do. Such a simple thing, and I couldn't even do it right. Don't worry, gravy child. Now you're a little murder. A little murderer. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. You're an accomplice to murder. I, after dinner last night, I did go to the inner temple with a pot full of leftover gravy. The gravy. I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the, near the sacred cavern. 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 Oh, yeah. I was sure it was the master of the Kurain, like it said in the letter. I see. And then? Well, it was already, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow. So I went to the inner temple guest area. The guest area? 
Yeah, I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you go to the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had already started and I couldn't interrupt it. So I just stayed there and I prayed for her to get through it. But then I... Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearls. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris too. It happens. Anyways, then you found yourself trapped in the inner temple. Yes, when I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but Dusky Bridge was, wasn't there anymore. And there was no one in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator and I heated up the leftover gravy and... They were left. <laughs> you let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried. Damn. Must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. Yeah, because my parents would come and pick me up, jackass. It equates something so trivial with her experience, Larry. It was written right in my mother's lap. <coughs> what the hell? Ah, uh, my throat. It was written right in my mother's letter. It said as soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dolly Hawthorne's spirit? No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. I never failed that channel on someone. This is the first time it happened. I tried and tried and tried. Yesterday this morning, the whole time. But I just couldn't do it. You let your guard down, Pearls. It'll work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoosh, just like that. Hmm. See, what I'm just trying, what I'm trying to find out is what the hell, what the hell was Larry's drawing? Is it possible that when she, when she channeled her, that that Dahlia managed to like Dahlia's spirit managed to like hold herself off or something until the time was right or something like that was the fire was the fire catching her soul <laughs> is that her burning demon fucking flying demons so she never managed to channel the spirit is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone Yes, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel the spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. You better not tell me that somehow Maya... Somehow the spirit went to Maya. Would you please tell me... Can you please tell me what it is anyways? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Fuck! But who? Did Maya kill her own mom? What the fuck is wrong with your family? Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. Then that would mean on night of the murder, someone else channeled her spirit. I don't think it would be Maya, though. That would that would make. Hmm. The murder took place in the garden. Would Bikini be able to do it? I mean, she was. I mean, let's say Bikini was able to do it, right? She's she's the only one who used the snowmobile, made her way back. Right? Channeled the spirit, murder happened, she passed out. 
And that's why she was on the floor. All right? She said because she, you know, she was in shock, she fainted or whatever. But maybe she killed her. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dolly Hawthorne? I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Hmm, this letter. Definitely need to find out more about it. What do you mean last wish? She wasn't sent. She wasn't sentenced to execution, was she? My mother has gone to a place called a penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. Last month, she told me. The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at home before they brought me here. I want you to read it and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. Fucking... Over here, Palpatine. Mama Palpatine. It's for the good of the clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> now listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. My mother's always nice to me. I love her very much. Pearl, I love you. Your mom's evil. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fey Clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Mystic Maya's part of the Fey Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. Oh. Oh, you poor little sweet innocent child. That's right, isn't it, Nick? I guess so, yeah. There's a picture with her letter, too. A picture? Of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually, a picture isn't enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Yeah. A. Strong blood connection, because your sister's... And B. That demon has a fucking... Unfinished business. She's like, I'm gonna fucking destroy the whole bloodline. Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. Uh? When did... When did you read the letter? Wait, no, hmm. Where was the letter hidden? It sure is pretty strange. Someone opened it already? Thanks, Pearls. It really helped me out. You're very welcome. My mother's watching over us. I don't need her doing that for me. I'm sure Mystic Amaya will be alright. Look at the innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realize how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. Good thought. The entrance to the sacred cavern looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. I guess he's talking about Iris and the lock-breaking effort. But, it's all a waste of time. Why you say that? Because Maya Fey isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about. How can you say something like that? It's your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Mia Fey. That wasn't my job! She was my mentor. She should have been protecting me, of all things, which she did, by the way. And on top of that, I was home when it happened. She was working on a case that she didn't even tell me about. Okay? And where the fuck were you? <laughs> where were you during the whole thing? Mr. Oh, she's my girlfriend. Two sisters caught up in the worst, worst circumstances. I realize that, but you were the only one who was by their side. You were the only one who could have saved them. Oh, you could have done nothing, jackass. But I didn't know anything about what was going on. <laughs> what did I just say, Trite? 
Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. Tomorrow. We'll settle everything in the courtroom, once and for all. Mr. Nick? Is that man just... Is that what that man just said true? It'll be alright, Pearls. Oh, that being oblivious is a crime? In your case, Pearl? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure Mai's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick. My dear Pearl. You've done so well, my child. My Pearl. It's better that you don't know what you've done. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now, finally, after all this time, the master seat is yours. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. Just in time for what? What are you doing? She be an ex -gear? She killed herself? What, what happened? Don't you give me a fucking lighthearted jingle after that shit I was just put through. You know, for a long time, been looking for a trial to... to fucking usurp... Edgeworth's trial, because that one still holds near and dear to my heart. You know? But... This is, is, is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. What time is it? Okay, I got about an hour. February 10th, 9.39 a.m. Lobby number one. Good morning. Are you by yourself? Oh, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, please tell me what's going to happen to Mystic Maya. I'm sorry. We don't know yet. The investigation is still going on, and I wasn't allowed into the inner temple. Now oh, let's see. So, is Sister Iris still trying to remove those trick locks? No. She's the defendant. She's the defendant in this case, so she can't be at the inner temple. She's required to be in court. Then, how come she's not here in the defendant's lobby? I have to admit, it's kind of strange. If you're looking for Iris, she's in the prosecutor's lobby. Edgeworth. The prosecutor's lobby. Better not be pleading guilty, you son of a bitch. What's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony with the prosecutor as we speak. Today's testimony? You heard me. Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. What? Why? The prosecutor is squeezing her for a confession, or so I heard. Francesca Von Karma, what are you up to? I know what you're thinking, but Francesca isn't going to be the prosecutor today. Yep, it's Gadot. What? Then who is? Who else would it be but Gadot? Gadot. Francesca is engaged in some important work at the Sacred Cavern. The Sacred Cavern? You don't mean that she's... Exactly. She's been out there all night trying to remove those trick locks. No, she does care about us. But the head nun's assistant, naturally. We estimate that the last of the locks should be taken care of in about three hours. I hope everything continues to go smoothingly as we receive some good news. Yep. Thanks, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Gerdotz intends to nail this case shut today. Be prepared to fight like there's no tomorrow. You don't have to tell me that. Touchy. I can already see it in your eyes. I said touchy. I felt like that was the best word to say in that situation. I know he said touche, but you know. I feel like he'd just be like, touchy, okay, motherfucker. You're not the same fever written. You're not the same fever written fanatic maniac you were yesterday. Fanatic? Frantic. Wrong words. It's strange. 
On the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all of this. Almost immediately after I made the decision, I felt myself getting stronger. Interesting. Maybe you passed your cold onto someone else, literally. With that, I leave the rest in your capable hands, partner. Thanks, partner. I still don't have any answers for most of the riddles plaguing this case. The circumstances around the murder of Elise? No. I mean, Misty Fay. The impossible flight Larry claims to have seen. It might... Listen. It might have just been Dahlia's spirit catching on fire. And... What that woman is really after. We'll solve them all and bring this whole tragedy to an end. Court's now in session for the trial of Iris of Hotskir Temple. The judge changed too? Um, Your Honor? What are you... Who, me? Well, my little brother came to visit me in my chambers earlier this morning. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. Therefore, I'll be... <laughs> oh god, I did pass on my cold. Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. I see, Your Honor. He's your little brother? Wow, that explains a lot. My poor brother. He looked a bit pale, not to mention said that he couldn't be here. I got time for your bullshit, Godot. Fucking one of my waifus are gonna die. Can't have it. One of my waifus almost got killed by me by my other waifu. It's bad. They're fighting amongst each other. It can't happen. That can't happen. It's a tragedy for everyone involved. It's impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. This is precisely why people feel the need to judge the past. And we of the court have been charged with the solemn duty of passing such judgment. Well said, Mr. Godot. I understand exactly what you said. At least up until the end, anyways. Now then, Mr. Godot, please proceed with your opening statement. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts change with the shifting of the tides. There's only one thing that remains a constant in this crazy world. The bitter darkness that lies at the bottom of this mug. So then you mean... Nah, forget it. What do you mean? During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. But today, she has had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple has a confession to make. Confession? The defendant? Iris. Why didn't she discuss this with me? Very well. This court will now hear the defendant's confession. These are my confessions. <laughs> Upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask for her name and profession. Yeah, because when I meet someone in the bar, I just go, Uh, what's your name and, uh, where do you work? Instead of introducing myself first, of course. That's one of my rules. Um, my name's Iris. I'm but a simple nun undergoing training at Hanzakura Temple. Witness, is there something that you want to confess to? Yes. But first, I want to apologize to Mr. Wright. I can't continue lying to everyone anymore. It's all right. What is it? Mr. Wright, I have to admit that I... I did play a part in this terrible incident. Are you actually confessing? <laughs> He's like, you serious? I thought he was a plan. <laughs> Are you saying that you were the one who murdered Miss Elise? No, I'm not, Your Honor. But I dealt with the cover-up after the murder took place. After her spirit left, I took the lifeless shell of Mystic Elise and carried it to Hazakura Temple Courtyard where I discarded it. What? Order! Order in the court! Witness! Are you... Are you saying you were an accomplice to murder? Well... 
did she died due to blood loss, so was mm, was she dead before Yikes. I mean if that wasn't the murder weapon then what blood did she lose? I would assume it's from Ooh. Ooh. I'm trying to determine if she was dead already before this happened. You might have actually killed her. Oh god. But this but that sword wasn't the murder weapon. Hmm. Yes, that's correct. What? Three minutes in court and I'm already covered in cold sweat. Everyone on the planet is an accomplice to something. It just happens to be that in this case, it's murder. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? That could dot. So, this is the confession they were confer they were conferring about. It pains me to say this, but it looks like Iris' testimony was all a lie. Fucking crumbled up and shoveled in his body. He's like, get this shit out of my face. Get it out of here. Now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a question for you. Whose crime were you trying to cover up by your actions? Iris was covering for someone. Now I'm definitely up to the creek without a paddle or a life jacket. I've been at Huskaro Temple ever since I was a little girl. Huskaro Temple is run by one of the branch's families of the Kurain tradition. One of our missions is to protect the main family. I'm sorry, but main family? Yes, and that's why I would dirty myself, if need be, to protect her. The daughter of the, of the Master of the Crane Channeling Technique. Mystic Maya Fey. Huh? Wake up and smell the coffee, Trite. She's naming... Maya? What? Wait. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. Pearls wasn't able to channel Dahlia. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that Maya's not the one who channeled Dahlia, right? Discard the body. What the hell? You didn't commit the murder, but you helped discard the body. So what the fuck? Wait, what? I would assume Maya would be one of the targets. Right? I assume she would be the sole target because no one knew where the fuck Misty was. So, not only did you witness the murder, you know the name of the murderer. Terribly sorry, but it is true. I saw her commit the crime with the with my very own eyes. And then I cleaned up the area to try to protect her. That's ridiculous. Maya could never do. Hmm. So she's saying that Maya. Wait, hold up. She's saying that Maya channeled Dahlia. Maybe by accident or something? And then I guess since that would make her an accomplice to murder yet again, she would then protect her. By cleaning up the mess, and fucking shoving her ass in the goddamn, shoving her ass in the goddamn cave. And then she put one lock on it, but then when we came back there were four more, that no one knew how the fuck they got there. What the hell is going on? The defense will refrain from committing, from commenting until the appropriate time. Now witness, let's hear your testimony. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Yes, Your Honor. 
I thought I was prepared for the un unexpected. But I never imagined the case would be would wind up to going into this direction. I went to the other temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. I saw Mystic Lee strike Mystic Maya with her staff. Wait. What happened to Maya? What the fuck? What's going on here? <laughs> While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. That was only in self-defense. You can't blame her for that. So it was in self-defense. Yes, Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. Then where the fuck does Dahlia come in with all this? Did... What? Huh? Hmm. Okay. When Pearl went like, for example, how do you read this? Did she manage to see the rest of the letters? And to thwart her plans, she channeled Dahlia, so Misty was Dahlia? Then went to kill Maya, and then that led Iris to go protect her, and then she had a skerfuffle with her sister. Or something? Or Maya killed her mom? Or something? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> you lost me! Yes, Mystic Elise was the one who attacked first. That's why I tried my best to protect Mystic Maya. You moved the victim's body to the temple. <clears throat> so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You got the instincts of a true criminal. Something's not quite right. I'm sure it was a stylish yesterday. That Iris never went to the inner temple that night. And that the person who did go was that woman. Iris even admitted it. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please proceed to your cross-examination. Alright, let's see what we got here. Went to the inner temple that night and I saw it all happen in the garden. See, I assumed that I would use my testimony for- uh, her testimony for this, but... But she fucking... But I threw that away. Uh, had to yawn. Had to yawn. Alright. Let's see. So it all happened in the garden. Saw Mystic Elise strike Mr. Maya with her staff. While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved to the deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. It was only self defense. You can't blame her for that. Stole the weapon. What weapon would that be? And then... Mystic Maya, she turned things around and then... She used the weapon she'd taken and lunged forward for a strike. Witness? Are you absolutely certain? Yes. But believe me, she had no choice. Mystic Maya had done so had done something. My face name would have been written on this autopsy report instead. Hmm. Yes, I see. This is bad. I still can't put the pieces together. Unless I find a contradiction in her testimony, mine's gonna get blamed for this. I only have to say this. Hmm. To the inner temple my I saw all happen in the garden. Sister Iris, your testimony had changed quite a bit since yesterday. You stated yesterday that on the night of the murder, you didn't go to the inner temple. Did she now? Too bad for you, that's what she said yesterday. Doesn't mean much today. By the way, why were you uh, why were you claiming that she didn't go? Oh, wait, what? Did I even read that right? 
I was in the Inner Temple training hall. A private conversation between the two of you doesn't cons doesn't constitute testimony. Constitute? Why did I say that? Constitute. Constitute. What the hell is wrong with me? Making up words. Being a weirdo. That would be that would be probably described as her heresy. Hmm. Do you? Uh, what do you have to say, witness? I just couldn't tell him the truth at the time. Mystic Maya. She's your girlfriend, as you see. You, you fucking. You, you hush your tongue. I didn't want to be in, be the one to break it to you that I saw her commit a murder. I am single and ready to mingle, and don't you dare listen. I'm not gonna say no to Maya, but Iris, <laughs> come on. There, there, we all understand how difficult it is for you. Now then, let's continue with the testimony. What did you witness in the temple garden? Well, your honor. All right. Photo of Elise, the hood, weather data, blade. No one knows this except for me and Gumshoe. Hmm. I mean, I can use this, I guess. Maybe? Hmm. Went to the inner temple at night. I saw it happen in the garden. Would that work for me? Hmm. I don't... Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I mean, for her to come back, like, if she went, it still would have been snowing, so probably would have covered tracks or something. Uh, do 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 do. So mystically strike Mr. Maya with her staff. Tell me more about that. You're saying that the victim attacked Maya. I mean, Miss Faye. Yes. It was a truly frightening scene. Mystic Maya was struck hard on the head and it looked like she was going to collapse. What were you doing at the time? Hmm? Why didn't you stop them from fighting? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I was frightened. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I was in such shock. That's perfectly understandable, my dear. This doesn't sound right. I don't believe this testimony for a minute. What happened after that? Still stumbling, moved in to deliver a fatal strike. She moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into her robe for a weapon. Wait a minute. What was this weapon? It was some kind of dagger. A dagger? Uh, Elise tried to stab her with the with this weapon. To kill Miss Faye. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you look like you did after I mistakenly took a swig of Worcester Worcestershire sauce. Fucking tell me anyone who can pronounce that word correctly. Tell me anyone. Cause no one can pronounce that word correctly. It's impossible. That word was created to make you stumble. Even chefs can't say it correctly. And they use the damn thing all the goddamn time. Do you have, pr you have a problem with the testimony you're hearing from the client, lawyer boy? Mm, do I have a problem with Irish's testimony? There is one thing in particular. Your Honor, I have a small problem with the witness testimony. You do? But this witness is your own client. Yes, well, nevertheless, that's fine. Witness, let's add that last statement to your testimony. Yes, sir. Hey, just a moment. It's my job to say that. 
Listen, Gramps. I won't say it again. Final judgment will be rendered by me. Okay, now, let's continue. She threw her staff away and pulled a dagger from inside her robe. She threw her staff away. Mystic Elise was trying to kill Mystic Maya. I think that's why she wanted a more lethal weapon. It's true. It's not easy to inflict the deadly blow with a staff. Sister Iris, let me make sure I got this straight. The victim herself chose to throw away her staff. Yes, that's what I saw. Is there anything odd about that, Mr. Wright? Yeah, it's really odd. Mystic Elise attacked Mystic Maya with the dagger. I'm sure of it. So, what's she saying here? She's not wrong, per se. She did throw away her cane, but she threw away the sheath. So... What do you know about this? Objection! Sister Iris, there's something strange about your, vis your version of events. Huh? Miss Elise throwing her staff away makes no sense to me at all. But... All you can do with a staff is hit someone. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris, but the victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, it's a sword. Huh? If Elise really had wanted to kill Maya Fey, she wouldn't have needed to use a she yeah, you, uh, the bad, bad, bad. she wouldn't have needed to use a separate dagger. Not when she already had a beautiful blade in her hands already. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? So assuming that Misty Fay did channel Dahlia, and Dahlia went to kill Maya, she's like, I got this cane with me, thwack. But Dahlia wouldn't know that there's a sword inside. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? Uh, I, uh... That was an impressive bit of investigating, right? I never would have thought that there was a sword hidden in the staff. But even so, how would it, how should I put this? A long sword is unwielding, and thus quite indifferent in close quarters combat. Maybe that's why she chose the dagger over her blade. Well... Anyways, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what's important. I mean, it kind of is. If if her first initial attack was, I'm going to thwack you with the cane because I have the initiative. Why wouldn't, if you knew your cane was a sword, why wouldn't your first attack just be a fucking stab right through the heart? The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. As long as there was nothing strange. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. But there is something strange about the whole testimony. Well, Mr. Wright, the prosecution has a point. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back this argument. Mr. Wright, I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't be trusted. Because Miss Elise would never attempt to take the life of Maya. For you see, For you see, do I not have, do I not have anything that says it's her mom? Real name is, oh, it says real name is Faye. For you see! Elise would never have attacked Maya. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name is not Elise. Whatever the fuck the last name is. Her real name is Misty Faye. Faye? No. Not Mystic Misty Fay. Who is this Misty Fay? Is she related to? Misty Fay is the master of the curing channeling technique. She is also the mother of Maya Fay. Are you serious? Deadly serious. Is it really true, Mr. Wright? Was Elise actually the great Mystic Misty? There's no doubt about it. 
it looks like, Iris had no idea. I could hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her own daughter, one she hasn't seen in 17 years. Perhaps the pro... Uh, perhaps... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing. Order. Order in the court. Upon first hearing the witness testimony, it seems naturally... It seems naturally... It seemed natural enough. However, in light of some facts that have just been presented, one, that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight, and two, that the two people battling to the death were mother and daughter, despite the facts being believable when taken on their own. When together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that's impossible, except for one little thing. Yes, and what is this one little thing? Hm. You still don't get it. You think maybe my beans are under roasted, but you have no idea, Gramps. Hmm. Could you get to your point? I heard this witness confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of of my eighth cup of the morning coffee. You're gonna ruin your health, my friend. Anyways, after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate sent to the scene of the crime. And, he discovered this little beauty. Oh shit. Is that a dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, your honor. But, do you not notice something else? The blood on it. Now that you mention it, if you look closely, there appears to be blood. Where'd you find that? I didn't see I didn't see that when I was investigating the crime scene. Did you investigate the pine tree at the crime scene? Huh? The pine tree? The dagger was stuck in the back side of the pine tree. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women. This little baby was thrown in the direction of the back of the pine tree. Which means, the blood on the dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Huh. Were you even listening, old man? I first heard this confession this morning, just as I had taken the first sip of my 13th cup of, cup of morning coffee. Wow, you have a problem. Did you say it was your eighth a few minutes ago? I didn't have enough time to get to the blood now since on such short notice. In any case, the court will accept the dagger as evidence. Furthermore, the, the order that the blood test, wait, I ordered that the blood test be performed on it immediately. This is my sweetheart. Make sure you treat her right. Bailiff, get this piece of evidence to the crime lab for testing immediately. Now then, the testimony we just heard had numerous unbelievable aspects to it. However, after having found the very dagger that witness spoke of, I believe we can consider her testimony to be credible. Cute girls never lie, ever. Are you fucking serious, Gadot? <laughs> you were there during the Dahlia's case. She lied through her teeth. In any case, witness, if you can please testify again to this court. About what, Your Honor? About the incident you saw. The battle between the two women. Yes, Your Honor. Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. But then she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. Suddenly, Mystic Elise was the one on the defensive, with her back to the stone lantern. That's when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then she collapsed. And that was a very heartbreaking story. I don't know if there were any bad feelings between them, but... It had been 17 years since Mystic... Misty's disappearance. 
Perhaps they simply didn't recognize each other anymore. Hmm. That seems reasonable. Now then, Mr. Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Okay, let's see. But then she dodged. Next attack is still her weapon. Suddenly, Mystic Elise was on the defensive with her back to the lantern. And when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise, Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away as she collapsed. Seemed like a reasonable story at first, but there's one thing that is completely impossible. The very idea that Maya stabbed someone. That alone's impossible, which means this is a faulty testimony containing another contradiction in it somewhere. Okay. Stumble briefly. But then she dodged the next attack and stole her weapon. Suddenly, Miss Gleese was more defensive. You said she stole her weapon. Hmm. I can believe that. Are you absolutely certain that's what you saw? Yes, I'm almost certain. Almost. The garden was dark. I couldn't really tell who was who. What'd you just say? So in other words, it could have been someone else entirely. We know that Maya Fey was the, in the inner temple that night. And that the woman that was killed was Elise. Isn't that fairly obvious? Isn't it fairly obvious who attacked who? I don't have anything to counter that yet. Now the witness, continue. Hmm. Okay. Two of them faced each other for a moment. Mystic Maya rushed straight into Mystic Elise. And Mystic Elise double, doubled over and fell to the ground. So, she was stabbed in the stomach, huh? Yes. Hmm. Optopsy! Loss of blood from stab in the back. Hmm. Which statement would I use that on? Maybe it's this one. Because if she was stabbed in the back, she wouldn't be able to fling it away. Right? And we didn't see any other noticeable marks on her, I assume. So let's do that. Nope. Okay, well that's sad. <laughs> Where did the dagger go? I have no idea. It was dark and I couldn't see. According to the detective who found the dagger, it was stuck into the pine tree in the garden. Most likely it was flung towards the tree after the struggle. It's most likely explanation, yes. After being stabbed in the stomach, did the victim collapse right away? No. Now that I think of it, she seemed to have stared at Mystic Maya for a while. Mystic Maya stood there, not moving an inch. It felt for a moment like time had just stopped. But then suddenly, as if the spell had worn off, Mystic Elise fell over. It seems like a reasonable story. Come on, give me something to work with. Then she dodged, the next attack stole her weapon. Suddenly she was on the defensive with her back to the stone lantern. You're saying that Maya Fey turned the tables on the victim? Yes. The mystic Maya wasn't herself at the time. After all, her life was in danger. I still can't believe it. The idea Maya cornered someone at knife point is just silly. As they say, a cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. 
I believe the correct description is a corner fox is, is scared and petrified. Your animal, <laughs> your animal uh, analogy, mm, analogies have grown tiresome. You're the one who started it. So, after my FA backed the victim into the stone lantern, what happened next? Damn it. She's, ah, damn it. So, I guess the. I guess that's not gonna help me. Hmm. Found behind the tree in the under. The blood is being analyzed now. Shit. Being analyzed now. Fuck. Says she was stabbed in the back. Damn it, there's no way I can get her to like change her testimony? Fuck. Are you absolutely certain that's what you saw? Yes, almost certain. Almost. Couldn't really tell who was who. Huh. Come on, give me something to work with, damn it. Two of them faced each other for a moment. First in. Hmm. Stabbed in the stomach. Yes. Fling the knife away, but then she collapsed. I don't think any of the profiles would help me. Went to the inner temple in the night, and the incident is now missing. She's found at the inner temple. This is the first question in this whole entire case that has stumped me. Because I just don't know where to do anything. What the fuck? She dodged, next tech stole her weapon. What happened to the victim's staff then? I'm not sure. The area was very dark, so I couldn't see. I think it got knocked away from the fight when the fight escalated. Makes sense. That would explain the need for a dagger. Raised the dagger to strike. When Mystic might have dodged it, last second. Dagger struck the lantern and fell to the ground. And then at some point, Mystic Maya picked it up. Well, this sounds especially strange, yet. What did the victim do with the weapon? Okay. Hmm. What's the first one? Still more briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Iris, where were you standing when the witness when you witnessed all this? What do you mean? Well, if either you had noticed them, they might have continued their battle. I wonder if that's true. The two of them, they were standing near the garden stone lantern. I was watching the whole thing from behind. It was dark. Okay. Hmm. So it was dark in the garden. Tell me, what did Miss Maya Faye do after she was struck? Okay, well, forget about the fucking autopsy right now. Forget about that and it says it was stabbed in the back. Can I prove that she wasn't in the garden because they found... Still more briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Because we found this not in the garden. She dodged the weapon, so Lee was one of the defensive with her back on the stone lantern. I'm gonna my stab, please. Fuck. 
fuck. Go back to the first one. Stumble briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Yeah, there's nothing. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess that's an angle I can't go for. Is there anything that would prove... Maybe I need to prove how innocent Maya is. One by Elise, found in the Garden Temple. I mean, suddenly Mystic Elise was there on the defensive. Perhaps not. Blah, blah, blah. Managed to fling it away. Really? I guess I can use the knife, maybe? Found behind the tree. I'm completely stumped on this one. Blood is being analyzed. Are you absolutely certain? so stuck on that because that's not true. Where'd the dagger go? I have no idea. Where'd the dagger found? It was stuck into the pipe, into the pine tree. Most likely it was flung towards the tree after the struggle. Not being stabbed in the stomach. No, that's not what I think. But, there's one thing that is completely impossible. The very idea that Maya's stabbing someone, that alone is impossible, which means... This faulty testimony must contain another contradiction somewhere else. I just... I really don't get it, actually. This is the time when I just fucking start using things on other things. Blood suspect fingerprints on it, but not the murder weapon. Just, this is what's bothering me, it just says lost blood stabbed in the back. But for some reason, I can't use it. And this one says we found it at Dusky Bridge, so I would assume that's where. The initial strike went. Found behind the tree in the other table. I really hope. I really hope this isn't this isn't another situation where they're like, fucking, here's the evidence, we just didn't tell you certain things from it. so good in this trial too. I'm really sad that I'm getting stumped on this right now. Ah, oh, fucking hell.
Is it really not the fucking autopsy? Gosh. Then she dodged Mr. Weiss, next time she's the bomb down, so I asked Weiss was the one on defensive with her back. Tell me about this again. Fuck. <laughs> yes. Mystic Maya wasn't herself at the time. After all, her life was in danger. Cornering someone at knife point is just silly. What did I press the autopsy on? I I believe I pressed the you know what? Maybe I maybe in my mind I thought I pressed it on this, but I didn't, but I know for a fact I pressed it on on this. I'll try pressing it on this. I can I pro I probably just didn't do it, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Well fuck me. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, I did it already. <laughs> Something about you just isn't right today, Iris. Hmm? Until now, I didn't think you were the type to make such a careless mistake. Well, I made a careless mistake. I'm overthinking shit. Sure. However, the testimony you just gave contains quite a few contradictions. What do you mean? What's so wrong about my testimony? According to you... Mia Faye stabbed the victim while she, while she had her back on the stone lantern, correct? So, I, find, I still find that weird, though. Right? I'll take the L on this one, not gonna lie. But I still find it a little weird that the statement you gotta press it on is, She stabbed her. Which is like, yes. She did get stabbed. Meanwhile, the other two of them are like, She managed to fling it away, which, if it was in her back... She wouldn't be able to do that. And then the one before that is she had her back against the lantern, which, if she had her back against the lantern, then she wouldn't have been stabbed in the back. Both those two sentences have a better, makes, makes more sense to contradict it, right? Makes more sense to throw the evidence at that besides, oh, she stabbed her. <laughs> but in the case, the victim would have been stabbed in the stomach, right? Why didn't they just change her fucking testimony? <laughs> yes, I think so. But according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was the blow off stab from the back. Yes. This proves that the victim was stabbed from behind, not from the front. Sister Iris, it appears another seed of doubt has have sprouted from your testimony. What? What's the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Ah, it's simple. People are like books. We've all got front and backs. Get my drift? Is that all you have to say? Yeah, pretty much. I can also say that darkness loves to play with the human mind. Could you please knock it off with the cheesy proverbs and <laughs> illogical metaphors already? The point is, too much of this testimony doesn't make sense. Throwing away a useful staff, the people fighting being mother and daughter. And now, she falsely claims the victim was stabbed in the stomach. There's some, there certainly are some inconsistencies. Well, Iris, how about it? Well, it's just... If you ask me, you're just being too naive about the whole thing. What do you mean? There are 253 d distinct types of bitterness in coffee. But to pick out, each one requires total concentration and the use of all the senses. You're really concentrating on what this witness actually said? Uh, yeah, she's my fucking defen- She's the defendant, I'm defending her, jackass, she's my client. The witness was quite unambiguous about her- un About her ambiguities. Ambiguities? Well, ambiguities, can't say that word. Ambiguities. <laughs> when she said that the garden was dark and she couldn't see clearly. 
A human needs one thing to see clearly, and that is light. I don't know, tell that to blind people. They can see pretty good with their echolocation abilities. I mean, look at Daredevil. <laughs> light and darkness. By the way, did you know? Azakura has a rule that on nights when the acolyte is at the inner temple training, the stone lantern in the garden must be kept lit. Hmm. I didn't wonder what the stone lantern was there for. Well, if that's true, shouldn't the witness have been able to see the crime more clearly? Normally, yes, Your Honor. But according to the head nun, Sister Bikini, on the night of the crime, it was impossible to light that stone lantern. Impossible. It hadn't been used in a long time, and the wick was no good. In other words, it had to have been nearly pitch black in the garden that night. There could have been a could have been a faint life coming from the training hall, but that's it. Most enlightening. Yes, that illuminating fact has chased all has chased all the has chased all the contradictions away. If the staff was dropped. It would be difficult to see. It also explains why they didn't recognize each other. We can't see the demons that lurk in the night. You can't see them. I can. They're all named oh, fucking Dahlia Hawthorne. That's why humans are weak. Isn't that right, Trent? You're a human too, jackass. I am not a human, for I am a robot. Here, Your Honor. Let me present the stone lantern into evidence. Maybe it will rekindle the flame of truth in your mind. Hmm. Why is the judge just sitting there with this look on his face? What's wrong, Your Honor? Was the flame too hot? Uh, this lantern. There's something written on it. Why? It's written in blood. Oh boy. So the judge didn't know about that yet. Written in blood. It says... It says Maya upside down. Again, I really don't even see how... How does it say Maya upside down? That doesn't look like a Y to me. Upside down. I'm trying to... Oh, I can see how it looks like a Y. That's a really weird, like... That line is, like, very faint. Like, one of the lines is way higher than the other. Shouldn't they be, like, equal? And then the fucking bottom line be longer? It's weird. Maybe it doesn't say Maya, maybe it says something else. You know, maybe you guys just reading it wrong. What the? Oh yes, that's right. After being cornered and then stabbed by the mystic Maya, Mystic Elise didn't fall down right away. She must have been writing that on the stone lantern behind her. Anybody, uh, having that good old Danganronpa flashback? <laughs> you know the one you know what I'm talking about with the blood that's been trying to blood that's been draining out of her body hmm surely it looks that way hang on just hang on hang on a moment what are you talking about what do you mean what are we talking about we're talking about the message written in blood. Nonsense. This lantern. It's as clean as a whistle. Good. Good da. Can't. Eh. Get. Get that? Not saying it, but yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? Good. Hey. What? Good da. Kadal, we know you can see blood. Could it be? You can't see the bloody writing at all? Now that I think of it, he did say something to me yesterday. My eyesight's pretty messed up. Yeah, but I mean... See, I was thinking that. It's like your eye... I'm like, is he just seeing nothing but red? But if that's... You know, if that was the case, then how come he was able to be like, Look at this knife! Isn't there blood on it, guys? Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. 
So, that's what he meant by that. You can't see blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I still don't get it. Is it, is it just because the pillar's white and to him it looks red and the blood meshes in with it because he sees nothing but red? I guess that would make sense. Anyways, in any case, this obviously is an important clue. We now know, we now know that the crime scene was was dark. And like a hiccup, holy shit. And that the victim scrawled this message on the stone lantern. Well, Mr. Godot, any further questions? Any further questions? Whatever. Anything further? Mr. Godot? Are you okay? You need to go to the hospital? Okay, then. Let's move on. Godot is literally shaking. And somehow, I don't think it's from caffeine overdose. I believe... I believe it has been established that Miss Elise was killed by Maya Fett. Well, that's just wrong. Now's the time to turn our attention to you. Yes, sir. After the victim died, you did something, didn't you? Let's hear it. We're all ears. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> After Mystic Elise died, I called out Mystic Maya. I thought it was my duty to protect the future master of the Korean tradition. So I removed the body from the inner temple by myself. I dragged it behind me all the way across Dusky Bridge. Then I used the snowmobile to carry it back to the Hasekura Temple and... I used the sword to I used the sword at the altar the way... Um, wait, what? I used the sword to alter the way she- oh. I called it a altar, but she said to alter, okay. Use it to alter the wound. I stabbed her. So, you moved the body. Yes. I was raised at Hatsukura Temple. I own a great deal of thanks to Fae Clan. But, even so, I never imagined. That Elise was actually a Misty Fae. I've committed a terrible sin. Hmm. Terrible, a terrible trick of fate. I believe you're looking for a twist of fate, Your Honor. I intend to return to the Inner Temple after taking care of the body. But, you were spotted by the head nun, correct? Yes, and that's why I couldn't go back. Your story makes sense, I suppose. Mr. Wright, go ahead with your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor, I am very hungry right now. I'm so hungry that I can audibly hear my stomach growl. After Mystic Elise died, I called out the Mystic Maya. Thought it was my duty to protect the future. So I removed the body from the inner temple by myself. Tried to pie me all the way across Dusky Bridge. Then used the snowmobile to carry it back to the temple. And I used the sword to alter the way the wound looked. Hmm. Phoenix, what do you think about this? Because that's pretty solid. <laughs> I don't want to believe it, but I don't think my logic is failing me. I was just trying to pin the murder on Maya. Of course she is! But why would she want to do that? There's only one reason I can think of. Hmm. To protect your... Damn. To protect your damn sister, because she's the murderer! No, I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Optimistic Maya. Why did you do that? Because I didn't want Mystic Maya to be suspected in any way. I thought the best thing would be to remove the body from the crime scene. You moved her body all by yourself. Yes, I did. It would have been impossible if it wasn't for the snow. The snow, huh? Hmm. Dragged it behind me all the way. The snow. You want about. So you waited until everything was over before making a move. No, it's not like that. She said she saw someone murder right in front of her eyes. It's not surprising that she was a little timid. Yes, I suppose that's true. Sometimes when I'm watching lawyers argue back and forth with each other, I feel so helpless that I just sit quietly and wait for them to reach a conclusion. 
Isn't that your job as a judge? And that wasn't until Mystic Maya saw me. It's finally dawned on her what she had done. That'd be my duty to protect me. You thought. So then, you knew. You knew the significance of the name Maya Fey. Yes, of course I did. That's odd, because apparently Bikini didn't know. I mean, Sister Bikini didn't recognize Maya's name, let alone her possession. Anyways, she was a very special person indeed. Hmm. Tried to pine me all the way across the bridge. It's pretty amazing you could make it all the way across that rickety old bridge. It looks worse than it is, and surprisingly sturdy despite its age. It's like, it's like they say, idiots are too stupid to catch even a simple cold. But there's one other thing that bothers me. Why not just throw the body into the river? It would have been much easier than dragging it all the way to Hazakura Temple. I thought it would still be... <laughs> I thought it would still cast too much suspicion on Mystic Maya. That's why I try to take the body as far as possible. <laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. For the time being, anyways, what did you do after you crossed the bridge? Mm -hmm. The snowmobile. I knew that would show up sooner or later. Yes, I had the key. I used the snowmobile to travel to Hansgrove Temple to Dusky Bridge. This is the part that was in question the other day. Should I ask for more details? Hmm. Tell me about the tracks. If you really didn't move, if you really didn't move her body by snowmobile, then there should be tracks left in the snow, right? Yes, naturally, you would expect tracks. This picture was presented at yesterday's trial. Aren't these the tracks from the ride? Yes. I think they are. But, I only see one set of tracks here. I don't see what's so strange about that. Snow was still falling when I left Hotskara Temple. I see. Snow was still falling, huh? And then, when, I, when the murder took place, it already stopped. And that's why there were such fresh looking tracks. Hmm. How about it, Mr. Wright? What do you think about the testimony? It's very important. Add that. When the murder took place, the snow had already stopped. That doesn't make sense if you stack up that up against other evidence. Hmm. Your Honor, I like the statement Iris just made be added to the testimony. But, does it still have something to do with the case? I'll make it clear if you allow her statement to be added to the record. Heh, <laughs> this should be fun. You. Let's get this show... show? Let's get the snow business cleared up, shall we? <clears throat> yes, sir. Damn. The snow had already stopped. By the time the murder took place. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, time between 10 and 11. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. I see, indubitably. 10 to 11, lightning. 10 to 11. Approximately. This grid stuck at 10.45. Okay. Not let them out of the crime. All right. Just want to make sure that we didn't have like a testimony from her or anything. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, there have been a lot of contradictions in your testimony so far. This time, are you sure it's all true? Yes, I mean, when the murder happened, the snow had already stopped. According to you, that's why the snowmobile tracks were so clear. That's right, I'm certain of it. I think I trapped her this time. I see, I see how you think, snow, huh? 
What's going on here? If the snow really had stopped by the time of the murder, it means there's a bigger hole in her story than the, than the movie The Crit. The Crit for Wait, what? I don't even know what the... I'll be honest, I don't even know what the fuck that movie is. That reference is lost upon me. Huh. Well then, Mr. Trite. Perhaps you'd like to share your, your theory then. Let's see what's up your sleeve, or rather, what's at the end of your index finger. I don't want to believe it, but I don't think my logic is failing me. Iris is trying to pin the murder on Maya. Okay. Hmm. Alright. That means something must have been covered in snow that's not supposed to be. crystal spear, right? Because that was buried in snow. By the time the murder took place, the snow had already stopped. Then explain this. Oh, come on. Are you serious? damn thing was covered in snow. Oh, hey, Greg, how's it going? <laughs> Hope everything's fine with you. Fuck! You're killing me out here. Snow had already stopped. Oh, really? I thought that would have... Huh. Found the out outcrowd near Dusky Bridge. Has blood on it. Can oh, they don't have the snow thing on it no more. Oh. Press that again, cause I just. What are you guys getting at? This time, you sure it's all true? Yes, I am. According to you, that's why the snowmobile tracks were so clear. That's right. I'm certain of it. I think I trapped her this time. See how you think. Snow, huh? What's going on here? Let us stop. Time to murder. Would it be the... Would it be the lantern? Hmm. <laughs> now that I saw Coffee Daddy today has been blessed. <laughs> Fucking hell. Would it be... Would it be the lan I don't think it would be the lantern, right? It's not like... Because snow wouldn't wash away this, would it? I mean, I guess I can try it. What's the harm in that? Why the fuck are these people making so much noise right outside my door? Oh, God. I can never... I can never have quiet time in this house. Oops, didn't mean to go past that. My bad. Well, here's what's gonna happen. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my fucking statement at this. Well, my statement. My evidence at this. See if I'm right or not. <laughs> Snow had already stopped. Well, that wouldn't be useful to me then, now would it? Hmm. Alright, never mind. Fuck that. Surrounding areas. Do, 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 do. But this, this wouldn't work. With that, I don't think that would work. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that this didn't work. The crystal spear. Fuck. Uh, do, 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 do. 
night of the crime. By the time the murders have place, the snow had already stopped. Snow. 1050. What that wrote? Yeah, no. Okay. Alright. Well. What hint? But God's already. But Godot already did that. Yeah, I know. I'm guilty. Alright. Here's what's gonna happen, because I'm already over my fucking stream time by like almost 30 minutes. So. Unfortunately, I really didn't want to stop in the middle of the trial. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop the stream in the middle of the trial. Now, <clears throat> as I said last time, right, um, my schedule's been pretty fucky, right? So, the way I'm going to do it now is that I may not, I may not have, you know, the five streams that I would usually do within the week, but... I will try to at least reach for three, so I'm going to throw those in the schedule, and I should be able to hit that with no problem unless something comes up, and I hope that nothing does. But, you know, my job's been doing some stupid shit lately, so they might call me in for one of those, one of those times. But, hopefully, uh, hopefully, nothing will be much of a... <laughs> I don't you even got halfway. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You saying I didn't even get halfway or that I did get halfway? What do you mean? What happened? <laughs> I'm assuming you saying that I didn't get halfway. Oh, you don't think that I got halfway? Okay, yeah, probably, probably not. Because I, I assume, no, it's all right. I assume, because I thought that maybe it would do, like, how the rest were doing it, where it's, like, you know, the most that they would do is, like, two investigations and two trials. But I think we're probably going to have to do, like, a third investigation, maybe. But, um, <laughs> you just woke up. I know. My stream times are so bad. I hate it. I wish I had better ones. Things were supposed to... Everything... My schedule was supposed to change by now for the better, but, you know can't depend on other people to do their part so i have to change my schedule around how everyone else around me does their stupid shit so fucking uh so i'm i'm gonna at least be trying to do three streams a week i'm gonna put that in the schedule hopefully i can hit those and if i ever have any free time which is a fucking rare commodity around me um then I'll try to schedule in like an hour or two, but uh, it won't be, you know, it won't be in the schedule, it'll just be like thrown in. So, there's that. What are you doing over there? Okay. Hey. You better not be throwing up on my bed, you fucking overgrown rat. <laughs> My dog, my dog started making weird noises. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? Okay, but yeah, that's the plan for now. Um, and yeah, I really have nothing else to say, <laughs> right? But yeah, as always, I want to thank you guys for coming. Yeah, <laughs> reach for the stars. Speaking of reach for the stars, I'm mad as fuck because they announced Sonic Colors after I went and bought the Wii version because I'm like, they're never going to remaster this game. And then they fucking go, so here's the HD version. So fuck. So fuck me, I guess. But, um, it's always whenever I buy something old that they decide to remaster it. They did it with fucking Kingdoms of Amlar and it pissed me off. Because literally the week after I bought the damn game, they were like, we're remastering Kingdoms of Amlar. And I'm like, really? That one? Really? Why? But, um, whatever. Fucking, but yeah. As always, I want to say thank you to you guys for coming live, for everyone who came live and watched. I greatly appreciate it. Support is very helpful. Thank you. Um, for those watching the VODs, thanks to you too. 
I know my schedule's fucky. Some of you aren't able to catch it live. I appreciate it. It helps. It's fun that you guys are watching it. And for people on YouTube, it's been like, it's been like this playthrough has been months in the waking, in the waking, in the making, <laughs> months in the making. So fucking, they don't see this shit until way later. That's sad for them. That's sad. Hey, I still have fucking the old vods for fucking Vampire the Masquerade. Because I never finished that playthrough. But now, since I have my second screen, I can, for Halloween, we can go back and revisit that. And I won't have to make it a very small window for me to play. So, anyways, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. Next time we come, hopefully, hopefully, we can finish this. At this point, I feel like we're going to need two more streams to at least get near the ending of this. And then, uh, I'll see what I'll do for the next game. Because I'm not really sure. We I'm not sure if we're gonna go straight back to conception. Not because I don't like it or anything, but because that's a pretty long game too. But until then, once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video, the next stream. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Chef, chef, chef.